This is where the magic happens. Where you can ask anything. Don't be shy. In fact, the more intimate, the better. From matters of the heart to all your juicy parts, anything goes. Oh my God. Because Mo knows. Yes. Mo knows. Mo knows. Oh. Mo knows. Check, check, check. One, two. Test one, two. Check one, two. Test one, two. Broadcasting live from Manila, Philippines at the Smart Bro Studios. Ah! It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. Oh, yeah! And here he is, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo <laughs> Twister. All right, welcome to the show. It is a Tuesday night. Boy, this is the latest we've star, uh, started the uh, program, and I apologize for that because uh, I, I think it's I think, I think Maggie Wilson's bad luck. That's so mean. <laughs> no, I don't mean it as like you, the person, as, as there's something wrong with your personality. But when we were trying to, last week, and by the way, I may apologize for last week. Uh, last week, we tried having you here, and all of a sudden, the people in Novali just decided it's not going to happen. They went ahead and did their own little Carino Highway revolution, and I wasn't able to get here, so I'm really sorry. Tonight, no voice. <laughs> we ended the show a little late, but it, nevertheless, it is nice to have you here. The phone lines are booming for you, Maggie. Thank you. We appreciate your attendance <laughs> finally here. How are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Oh, we're good. I, you know, I, I feel fine. Mm-hmm. My head's there, my body's there. It's just the voice isn't right. there. And of course, in this business, if I sound like this, I, I feel like I, I sound like a stroke victim or something, but I'm <laughs> fine. It's just fucking voice sucks. Um, Gan is here. Doc Gan, what, 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 what's good for me, Gan? Uh, there's a lot of herbal shit, Chinese, pep, pa, qua, whatever. Uh, there's there's lozenges. There's, what have I been telling you? What do I... Okay, aside from rest, mm, which is not going to happen. Uh, what can I do to get rid of this thing? Nothing, actually. Just rest. It's rest. Yeah. Okay. Really? Not even salabat won't work? <laughs> okay. Try okay. it. Yeah, try it. Yeah, because some people swear by it, but it's like... I you know, do, you, do you like the smell of salabat? I like the taste of it. Yeah, it smells... I mean, it's ginger. No. Yeah, but... Well, I, I, yeah, ginger... I'm not a big fan of it. But, you know, is, is, is salabat one of these, like, uh, Asian, Eastern mm-hmm, yeah. medicine... Yeah, yeah. Oriental. Tr- yeah, um, Oriental shit. Like, yeah. like you know how... My mom would always tell me, even to this very day, if I have a, uh, a sore throat or gargle throat infection, salt gargle water. salt and water. Yeah. My yeah, mom, this doesn't do shit. Give me some <laughs> Zithromax, motherfucker. And that is what I'm going to take because that is what gets it done, right? I mean, it's enough of the salt water nonsense. Yeah. All right. So let, welcome to the show. It is the podcast. Forgive me <coughs> for my voice, but this is where uh, Maggie Wilson is very talkative, very eloquent. She, she has, a, she has a, she, you know, you have a good head on your shoulders and a good mouth stuck to that head. So <laughs> please take over as, as often as you please. I know that you've not, you haven't been a DJ before, right? No, never. But you have all the qualities to be one. Really? Yeah, I do? absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. You're fine. <laughs> so if uh, there comes times where I'm just going to go, please take over, please take over. Oh, boy. You're okay. going to be, oh, you're, you're natural <laughs> at this shit. All right. Um, it, again, this podcast is brought to you by San Mig Light, mm-hmm. the low calorie beer. They have a new endorser. It's still a secret, but she will be here, launched on Wednesday of Ooh. next week. Um, this is also powered by Smart Bro. Everybody who calls the show gets one of these. I will show it to the video camera right now. People on the audio don't know what I'm talking about, so let me give you the uh, stats on it. It is a Philips Go Gear MP3 player, courtesy of tradeport.com.ph. This shit gets mailed to your house. So, um, I mean, classy. Yeah, and it's nice because, you know, a lot of a lot of radio games and stuff like that, you win a prize, you got to go pick it up. Mm-hmm. This one, we deliver it to your house in just a few days. It's a beautiful thing. We're also giving away a laptop computer. Maggie, this is how it works. You have to pick the caller of the night who you think was most uh, entertaining or, or most uh, intriguing or Ooh. just your favorite person. Fun. I'm so excited you, for that. Yeah, you get to choose that. Just So try to keep in mind mm-hmm. who you like. Okay. Whether You don't have to remember the name. Remember their story. We'll call them back at the end of the show. And that gives everybody the chance to get through the program in the next right. two hours and be awesome. And if you're awesome, Maggie will reward you. All right? <laughs> so let's start. Well, let me ask you. Let me, well, let me interview you a little bit okay. here. You recently got married. Yes. <laughs> um, it wasn't a controversial wedding, but there no. was a lot of attention... Um, with the uh, prenup video, right? And that, and that again, was that was that an idea that you guys had to make it super sexy, or was it kind of at the moment uh, the director and you guys got together and said, you know what, let's just let's just look like it's just a bunch of well, you know, sexiness going on. <laughs> well, the thing is, we really wanted to get Jason McBanwa, the 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 director. He's the best wedding videographer in the country. Sure. to shoot our wedding, but um, he wasn't available on the wedding day. All right. So our friend Sang Zulueta, she's a makeup artist, yeah, yeah, um, so. decided you know that she would give us a wedding present, and the wedding present was a prenup video. 
Okay. And so it was Sang and Jason and Victor, my husband, sure. who conceptualized the video. So I was just sitting there listening to them, and I'm like, okay, right, yeah, okay, sexy, okay, yeah, whatever. But it, it was <laughs> it was like it was thing, man. I mean, it was it's good enough to 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 put in those big screens. I mean, it was sexy. Thank it, you. it was nuts. <laughs> and speaking to your husband, real quick, who mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about because uh, in 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 ill because the guy's fucking. Have you seen him? He's, he's <laughs> rock solid, uh, dude. But is he like is is he his own Tony Stark? Uh, do, do people tell him that? Because I heard in your house mm-hmm. that when you park your car, the shit spins around. That's to, right. To, yeah, to fa- it does to, a complete face, 360. To face the way, or to face the way to go out uh, head first, right? Mm-hmm, that's right. So I mean, our garage isn't really that big, and we have we have how many cars? We have two cars and two bikes, and to fit everything in, we needed that turntable. And no, you did it. Yes, you know we did. Fucking people Actually, have two cars, Vic and they, that they don't need a turntable car. <laughs> they don't need it. So. Um, but yes, it, it is awesome though. I mean, if I can come up with that idea or if I can have the means to pull it off, mm-hmm. then definitely pull it off. So kudos to your husband. Thank you. It's just, he's like Tony Stark, man. I mean, Fuck next thing yeah. you know, he's going to be making a fucking Iron Man suit and all that stuff. So it's going to be awesome. <laughs> all right. R- riding around in a jetpack or something. Yeah, sincerely. All right, but be careful, man. He might be too much of a daredevil. You know, <laughs> he might not come home because he's out in the Himalayas like dangling from a mountain. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get to the show here. 659-6969 is the uh, phone number. Let's start off with an international call. Let's go through Skype here. Yesterday, we took a call from India. Tonight, it's Canada. Nice. Uh, Cecil is 32. She Mm -hmm. is on the program, and let's get to her. Cecil, you're on the show via Skype, I think. She's there. (laughs) Cecil? Hello? Do I have it wrong here? Intern uh, Miguel? Do I got it wrong? Hold on one second. Oh. Okay, that sounds like it's right. Cecil, you're on the show. Cecil, I hear you, the kids Hello. laughing. Hello? Hello? Yes, dear. Hi. Welcome to the program. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Is this small? Yes, it is. It is. Hi. Hi, dear. You're third. Hi, Maggie. Hi, dear guy. Hi, Dr. Gan. Hi, Hi. Hi Cecil. Um, are, are I have a Sure. We, Hi. We, we, get real close to your microphone there, because that's the one thing that uh, the computer stuff is not as clear as the, as the phones, of course. Because, and this is a tip for everybody calling through Skype. It'd be nice if you had a headset or some sort of microphone and not relying on your computer microphone on your monitor, just because it's clearer. You're going to sound like you're right next to us if you pull that off. But anyway, so Cecil, you're 32. You're calling from Canada. Where in Canada? Cecil. God, I feel like... The- Mm. Quebec City. Quebec City. Oh, so the French, the French side. Oh. All right, all right. Well, ça va. Fine. You fucked up because your husband cheated on you. So what's up? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, he, he admits that he cheated on me. Ooh. I was like, um, and I don't know how to trust him, no. and I don't know how to erase all the negative things I'm thinking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, when did he cheat on you? How long ago was this? It's. But I was, uh, it always comes to me that, um, is he cheating again? Because he he admits the the older, older things, but the reason, I'm not sure. uh, So I was really... Oh, what well, you know, you listen, Cecil, we're, our, our line is terrible right now, so we're going to have to cut this short. But at least let me give you some quick information, and, and then Maggie and Gan can go ahead and uh, follow up here. Right. When you're saying you. he's admitting the older stuff, but not the newer stuff, there really is no difference between the old and the new. Exactly. If he's, cheated, he's still fucking cheating yeah, on he's you. He's still fucking cheating on you. You get what I mean? Just because it was three years ago and you're, and you're more worried about what happened three months ago, it really is no different. Yeah. You are tolerating it, and if you continue to tolerate it, he'll continue to do it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. either either you stand your ground. You're in, you're in Canada. I hope you got married in Canada so you can divorce his ass immediately. Because if he's an <laughs> habitual cheater, he's a habitual cheater. I know you're yeah. 32 and you probably have children. And people always do that thing where oh I don't want to separate because of the kids. Fuck that. You leave. Yeah. If he's if he's cheating on you, you leave. If he's cheating on you twice, you leave twice as fast. You know what I mean? You get out of okay. there quickly. <coughs> Thank you. All right. This is. It, I, I, yeah. I know, I know it's tough, and I know it's tough to be on our side, the side that we don't have a cheating spouse. <laughs> but it, it is—you mm-hmm. just have to get rid of him. Right. I have the saying. I have the saying. You know, how much shit are you willing to eat before you realize that you're eating shit? See there. There, there we go. go again. There you go. <laughs> Yesterday. Awesome. Okay. Last night, eating yeah. shit again. Yeah. Yeah. We started off the show mm-hmm. with shit eating. Mm-hmm. All right, <laughs> Cecil, Cecil. Thanks for the call, dear. Bye bye. Thank you. No bye. worries. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you divorced in a week. Um, let us go to a bunch of phone calls here. Six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. 
How about um, how about Divine who's twenty one? Divine, you're on the show. We're talking about. She wants us to talk about your prenup video. Let's get that out of the way because we were talking about it earlier right. as well. Divine, okay. go ahead. Yeah, hi. Hi, Maggie. I'm the Divine. So mm-hmm. I was just wondering if um, while doing the video, did you have some orgasm or something? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was kind of hard, too, because, I mean, we had we had a crew. We had a full... Um, f- we had a full camera crew. We had a videographer, and we had um, literal cameras shooting photos at the same time. So, no, not really. It was kind of difficult because we had to get into certain positions, I suppose, that look good on camera. And uh-huh. sometimes those positions aren't exactly comfortable. So, oh, right. yeah, no, not yeah, really. Especially in the car, right? I'm sorry? Especially in the car. The one in the car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, th- yeah, that's pretty uncomfortable. But, you know, it was all, it was all good. I had fun. Yeah. All right. Well, how about after? Do you have a quick year? <laughs> Actually, I was very unfortunate to have my period that day, so oh. nothing really went on Thank afterwards. You. Okay, now I'm vomiting and swallowing it back. Thank you very much, Maggie. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to look at the prenup again. She, she was on a rag there. All right. Thanks for the call, dear. All right. Thanks. All right, bye-bye, bye. Divine. Bye. All right. Let's get to uh, some more phone calls here. Um, let us start with Jennifer. You're 32. You've been on hold for half an hour. Thanks for being here. What's up? Hi. Hi. Your oh, question. Okay. This is regarding a well, it is a question, mm-hmm. and uh, this is with regards to their um, girlfriends or ladies asking their boyfriends to carry their bags for them. Okay. So women who ask their boyfriends to <laughs> to carry the bags. All right. Yeah. Fuck no. I mean, um, yeah. Are men really willing to carry their bags for Fuck their ladies, no. or the men just cannot say no? No way. Listen, I am. I I'll, am. I'll, I'll carry anything for, for, for a girlfriend. Anything. Just except not the, the bag. bag. <laughs> Why not? What's wrong with the bag, Mo? Because you I look like you take it in the ass if you hold the bag. But seriously, we can carry our own bags. That's right. Well, no, but it's okay. At least for me, it's okay. I'll, I'll pay for the bag. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with, with those kinds of, you know, um, thinking that you can't carry a, a woman's bag? I don't know. I mean, my husband would, you know, doesn't like carrying a woman's bag. He doesn't like. No, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't even dare ask okay. him to. How embarrassing is that? I can't even carry my own bag. Him carrying your bag and then in the turntable. Yeah. Exactly. You know, the reason why you have like this expensive bag is so that you can carry, not for your husband to and, wear it. And, okay. Aside from that, aside from you enjoying your own stuff, it's like if I buy a sports car, I don't want my girlfriend driving exactly. it. Exactly. Now, here's the thing. You can hold your bag. You can buy your bag and stuff like that. It's what the guy, the scrutiny and the insults that you're, the boy's going to mm-hmm. go through walking around the mall. I don't know that guy, but I already call him a pussy. <laughs> yeah, he lost his man card. Yeah. All right. So don't, 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 uh, don't burden your boyfriend by making him hold your bag. Jennifer. So I don't. It's just that um, whenever I go to the malls and I see those, it's kind of an eyesore. It is. Yeah, it is. it's pretty pathetic. It's an eyesore. Like, I've seen one um, big guy, it's a bouncer type built, and yeah. I've seen him carry a pink feathery purse. So I wonder why oh, you're... You see? You see here, this is okay because he's a bouncer. If I'm walking next to him, I'm not gonna laugh because he might kick my ass. But I will immediately <laughs> take the escalator up to the next floor, look for him, and go, "You fag," <laughs> and then run. That's but, what I, oh, I wonder it. why you're wasting your time. You know, the effort to 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 notice these people, and then why you can do anything you like in the mall. Well, I'm just curious about. Why they do that? No, I also it, think it's kind of like a Filipino thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't really see no, it you know, when I'm in another country. The question of why, the why their intentions are, are nice. They want to yeah. hold stuff. They don't want their, their girlfriend mm-hmm. holding things. And again, you know, I, I'm the open door kind of guy uh, guy for the girlfriend. As and you should be. It's just there's, there's a long, there's a dry, uh, sorry, a line drawn right. at just the bag holding. You know, the intentions are pure and nice and all that. But come on, it, there's a there's a there's a level of a society decency that that needs to happen here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate it. Okay. Bye-bye. You're welcome. All Bye. right. Um, let us get to some questions here. The next person on hold the longest, Stanley, you're 32 from Binondo. Yep. I'm assuming you're Chinese. Yep. Uh, How? <laughs> Everybody in Binondo is Chinese. What's going on, buddy? I just want to ask, because uh, I live in Chinatown and I saw all these um, Chinese drugstores. Okay. Yeah. Um, are are, are those medicines na pangpagana effective? We've uh, we've talked about this before, and yeah. I know we're going to get this question a lot throughout the, the the duration of this podcast. And it's because guys are always looking for some sort of uh, advantage when it comes to sexual performance. 
get it making their penis bigger. I mean, <laughs> guys, they, they were able to come up with steroids <laughs> and guys are jumping all over it, even if it's bad for you. Anything that's going to give you the edge in bulking up. So steroids work, right? Yeah. Growth, pe- uh, penis growing pills don't work. <laughs> Uh, sexual uh, enhancing uh, medication doesn't work. Whether it be Chinese, fucking uh, 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 Indian, it could be, it could be, uh, it could be from Somalia, it could be from the U.S., it could be from Canada, it could be from anywhere. There's nothing out there that can make your penis bigger. Most of the time, this works because of power of suggestion. I mean, mind over matter. Yeah, yeah. mind over matter. So yeah. you, you think you're taking it, and then mm-hmm. you think so it's gonna if, work. Basically. Even if you just take flour. The only sexual flour? medications. No, I mean, you know. Oh, yeah, you can, right. I, give, I can give you gum and tell you that it's gonna work, and mm-hmm. then you think it's gonna work. Mm-hmm. The only thing that really works is the Cialis stuff, the Viagra stuff, but that's for uh, erectile dysfunction, and not really for just kind of like enhancing your your awesomeness. Oh. Gan, correct? Yeah, but yeah. there are women who would take Viagra to you know give them more. Yeah, yeah, isn't there like the a feeling. Viagra for women? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't think women would even take. I mean, it, it's up. To, okay, if you. I if mean, you, that's kind of sad. If your <coughs> if your if your partner can't get you to that point, See, that's that you have I mean. to take a pill. Yeah. Right. See, you guys think of that. We don't think of that. If there's any pill that can make us just a little bit more awesome, mm-hmm. we would take it. If there was a pill that made our penis bigger, we would all side by side just look at each other's penis and go, <laughs> "You've been taking a lot of medicine." And, and then we just kind of like every but every guy would do it. It's it's uh, unquestionable. We would do it absolutely. So, um, Stanley. Yeah. Stay away from that stuff. Oh, no, no. Uh, what what I mean is the the powder that you mix with the drink. Mm. You give it, it listen, to your partner. Everything because... is bullshit. Oh, okay. Everything. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Even these crazy jungle aphrodisiacs, like oh, if you have a snake's blood, that's all crap. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. No worries. Bye bye. Um, <laughs> TJ, you're 21. What's up? No. Uh, Am I on the show? Yes, you yes, are. Yes, you are. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, Mo. Hi, hi. Maggie. And hi, Dr. Gan. Hi. hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm 21. And I'm in a relationship for three years. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I'm not planning to get married anytime soon, but uh, I'd like to ask, how can you tell if you're ready to get married? Ah, uh, well... <coughs> If you've been in a relationship for three years, I mean, you're 21, you're very young, yeah. and you're a guy. So um, I guess when the time comes, you just know, because when I got together with my husband, on mm-hmm. the third date, he already told me that he was going to marry me, mm-hmm. and he already knew. And before the relationship before me, he didn't want to get married or have kids. So when the time came that he met me, he, I guess he, I don't know, he but figured that crazy, he wanted to marry though. me. I, yeah. mean, I mean, no, no, nothing to take away from your relationship, but that is such a gamble. And that that, that is... Huge, yeah. To say in, th- in, in after the third day, okay, I'm gonna marry. I mean, it, it works. I can't believe he, he said it. I mean, he yeah. must be one of those guys. And who I thought runs he was fucking company. crazy. You know, yeah, he has to be one of those power guys because <laughs> normal dudes can't pull that off. The three days, I'm like, you're gonna be my wife. No, I said to him, I was like, you're fucking crazy. We're not even together yet, and you're gonna marry me. Are you sure? <laughs> but then, um, yeah, when the time comes, I guess you'll know. I see. All right. Mm-hmm. Why are uh, you are you are you planning to get married? Uh, because I mean, you got together with your girlfriend when you were seventeen. Yeah, and you guys. Yeah. I mean, did you have your fun? I mean, did you go out, do crazy shit, and you know, get drunk and sleep with a lot of girls? You know, that's the usual stuff that guys do, right? And mm-hmm. I think yeah. every single guy must go through that before they get yeah. married. I didn't go through that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had sex with encyclopedias and stuff like that. It was, it was terrible. All right, TJ. Yeah, you're you're too young. You guys have been. You guys got together when you're 17. Don't yeah. think about it for another five years. All right? Enjoy your life. All right. Yeah. All right. Go thanks, have buddy. fun. Have Bye-bye. fun. All right, thanks. All right, 659-6969 is the phone number. We have a full lineup of uh, calls here. Again, we're going to be giving away a laptop to the caller of the night. Maggie will uh, choose for your chance at winning that. Let's go to Carmelita, who's uh, 48. Carmelita, what's up? Wow, Carmelita is driving a truck. A truck. Carmelita. Yes, ma'am. I yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> where the hell are you? <laughs> here waiting. Now, I, wh- wh- where are you? Are you in the middle? No, where of there? exactly? Where am I exactly? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Is your house on Edsa? In Edsa? <laughs> no. Mm. Okay. There's loud stuff going on. Anyway, what's going on? What, what's uh, your What's your question? Okay, but. Carmelita. Yes. Come on, let's go. What's your question? Question Carmelita, I didn't take the fucking call. You understand that? Does, does my voice sound like the guy who answered the phone? Yes. <laughs> I'm hanging up on you because you're stupid. Uh, Pat? Hey, Mo. She's not getting a prize. Okay. Thank you. 
Ron. Oh my God. <laughs> who's 28. Ron. Oh boy. What's yep. up? Mandaluyong. Go ahead. Hi. Um, question for, well. Because I'm not going to spend a line which a ton of people are trying to get through <laughs> with a good fucking question on a girl who just. Who, you guys have to be ready. I don't want to be rude. I'm certainly not a, a rude person, I think, just by gen, just generally speaking. But I need the show to move on. And if we're going right. to wait for your ass, and, the, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people from different parts of the world trying to get through the program, and, and all of a sudden you're going to be you're going to be the cancer of the pro of, of the show, <laughs> then we're going to have to remove you. Doc, we're surgically removing it and throwing out. Hmm. Right? And we just hope it doesn't grow back. <laughs> <laughs> Ron, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. All three. Um, yeah. If let's say you're from the opposite sex, who's the best celebrity person that you do with no strings attached? Ooh, like a day pass? No, no, no. If you were a girl, if you were a guy, which girl would you want to have sex with? Ooh. International? No, anyone. Oh, that's a tough question. Maybe um, Mila Kunis. Really? She, yeah. She's, she has ugly angles, though. I don't know. I I don't know. There's something about her that you know, I like. Yeah. She, she looks. She, she does look naughty though. Mm-hmm. She does can, look very naughty. Can can <laughs> can whose anus would you like to put your penis in? Anus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're we're talking about if we were the opposite sex okay. and we want to sleep with a man. Who 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 are you putting it in? Mm. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Jesus Christ. Really? Oh boy. Ah, why? <laughs> Come on. There's lots of there's lots of muscles where you can hold on to. You know. And then you can spread it, you know, you can play with it and you can He's sixty five years old though. It really there's a lot of muscles out there that you can choose. You go with that one? Yeah, still. Really? Yeah, Terminator. You're a homo. Oh god. That's so sad. <laughs> I'm taking um, <coughs> what? Who? I'm taking Pau Gasol. Easy. Power, really? power a forward baller. power forward for the Lakers. No no problem. So yeah. you're still going for the butt. Well, no, See? dude. I got the guy's on. autograph on my arm, Gan. Please understand my fascination with Pow. I'm, 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 I have an emotional connection okay, with the people yeah. I want to have sex mm-hmm. with. I'm not there just for his muscular ass, <laughs> like you are. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Ron. Oh, Ron's gone. All right. Um, what are these hypothetical questions? Come on, people. Let's let's get better than this. Everybody, let's get. Come on, six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. Let's get take, interesting. Yeah, let's get better. Uh, how about? We get to uh, Charles, who's on a cell phone. Charles, you're on the show. What's up? Yes. Hi. I'd like to just be first to say hi to everyone. Hi. 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 Uh, my problem is, uh, my question is, uh, I'm currently dating a girl that my friends introduced to me. Mm-hmm. And right now, uh, I met my ex-girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And somehow, we, we kind of hit it off again. And I'm... I'm now confused of whether I go back with her or I stay with this new girl that I'm dating. You know what? Stay single for a while. Don't date any of them. Oh. Yeah, so that's y- a bit unfair to both girls. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, that's why I'm asking because I don't want to to be a two timer or some, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to free my mind, who I really want, because uh, my former relationship. Uh, relationship with my ex was uh, we didn't really wanted to break up, but mm-hmm. yeah, well, along the way we kind of broke up. Yeah, but here's the thing: we we get this, we get the you hear the story all the time where uh, they break up and then when they're not together anymore, they 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 find to be they, they, they tend backslide. to be attracted yeah. to each other again mm-hmm. and stuff like that, or you miss each other, things like that. It, it, it's normal to feel like you're longing for your ex. Uh, yeah. Right after a breakup, kind of shortly after a breakup, it, it's all part of kind of the hurting process. So, right. um, you had you just have to show restraint and not and not jump yeah. into that. All right, yeah. I'm putting on a new face. So why not go ahead and you know enjoy both of them? Okay. Because that would make you a douchebag. Yeah, Dan. that would make you a dick. <laughs> right, yeah. and you're never gonna get a girlfriend That's that right. way. Yeah. yeah. D- don't do it. All right, you're, people are gonna get hurt. No, and all definitely. That all right. Yes. Use all right. It, use so, your head. So you want me to just take it easy and. If Dude, we know we know what you're I, thinking of. You know, we know we know that you 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 know what's right. Yes. Yeah, you, you can do it. Yeah, a lot of these a lot of the questions we get, people already know the answer mm-hmm, to. They just need somebody right. to yeah, tell they just them. Right. Right. So you know, yeah. come on, uh Charles, it's wrong. You guys broke up for a reason and stick to that reason. A, a lot of people get back together eventually, but don't get back together when you're dating someone else, okay? Okay. All right, thanks okay, for the call. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye bye. 
All right, time for a commercial break. We will uh, be back after a few minutes. Maggie Wilson is here. She's an actress, <laughs> beauty queen. You do TV hosting as well, right? You're yeah, an MTV DJ. MTV That's DJ. right. So she's a jack of all trades. We're going to be taking on more of your questions at 659-6969. This is the Good Times with Mo podcast. It's brought to you by San Meg Light, powered by Smart Bro. See you right after this. Get those calls coming in. Don't go away. Stay t- 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 tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan Meg Light bucket. Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho! Si Marian o Beach House ni Ding Dong? Pareho! Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho! Ay! <laughs> Maganda ang gabi pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa chan. San Mig Light! Drink moderate. Good Times with Mo the Podcast and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast. So visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bella Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Dati di ako makasabay. We broke through the global market and keeping in touch with foreign clients became very important. So I got my DSL Biz, yung 8 Mbps ha. Ngayon, kahit saan ka pa, Asia, Europe, America, walang problema. Lakas ng rest ba ko eh. My DSL Biz. This is Darius Hizon, bossing ng Pampangas Best. There are people who are pro-life, pro-choice, pro-this, and pro-that. For me, I'm pro-fun. That's why my friends and I enjoy hanging at TGI Fridays. They've got small plates to share and pass around and bottomless drinks that will last all night. Try it for yourself. Head to TGI Fridays now. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? huh? 
I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop as a park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad as a street. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Pakonek naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. Aww. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sandmig Light. And powered by Smart Bro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program. It is a Tuesday night. Maggie Wilson is here. Maggie, thanks for being on the show. Hi. Appreciate it very much. Uh, we have the boys' night out tomorrow on the show. Fun. The three DJs from Magic 89.9 in the uh, the nighttime show. They're hilarious. They are. Tomorrow's going to be uh, pretty profane. I can feel it. On a Thursday, Will Devon will be here. Friday, we have Rian Ramos, which a lot of people have been tweeting me about because... <laughs> I wonder, oh, yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why. There's going to be a ton of personal questions. I can feel it already <laughs> on Friday. Ooh, I'm going to fire him away. 659-6969, um, Maggie Wilson here. Maggie, reputation-wise, mm-hmm. in the business, you're always kind of uh, labeled as feisty. and, and The and, bitchy and, uh, one. The bitchy yeah, I one. Know. The, the contrabida, whatever. Like, where's the, Where does all that stem from? Well, I, I don't know. I guess... I guess because I'm more, I'd say I'm more European than I am Filipina. Are you, by the way? Yeah. I, I, well, I'm, half, Wilson. I'm, I'm half Scottish, half Filipina, and I grew up in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So my, my, the way I see things is a little bit more forward, like straightforward. Yeah. I don't like candy coating things or, or, you know, saying things or kissing other people's asses to get, you know, to get, right. to get somewhere. Uh, if I don't like you, I don't like you. No, but as a beauty queen, you, isn't that kind of a, an attitude that might be, um, that what detrimental to, to, to however far you get. Isn't beauty contests usually like an ass kissing, always smiling, be always pleasant, never have a bad day type of uh, atmosphere? I mean, you won, mm-hmm. but I mean... The, the, I mean, the, I mean, when I'm having fun, I'm having fun. But when I see something I don't like, then I'll, yeah. say, then I'll say something. What, what, what sucks about the beauty, the beauty queen system in our country? The beauty queen system. Well, what a lot of people don't know, there's a lot of politics that goes on in beauty pageants. Sure. Um, okay. Internationally as well. Yeah. And but explain because there's politics in every office, but they're always uniquely defined because it, it's it's a uh, it's it's different per uh, per company per industry. Okay, for example, like, like in, in, an, in an international beauty pageant, they'll favor countries that let's say have a big chip in sponsor for the pageant. Like let's say um, Miss World. Let's say for example China. They mm. sponsored X amount of money, and yeah. it's huge to the pageant. They'll favor that but, country. But, but China never wins. It, the, she Venezuela, won my year. Venezuela win. She won my year. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying that? Okay, that's Miss World. Yeah, this is Miss World. Maybe a little bit more corrupt than say Miss Universe. Um, Miss Universe can be corrupt as well. Really? I mean, I've I've heard horror horror stories from my girlfriends. Okay, what about Bini Bini Pilipinas? What are some of the problems with with that? Bini Bini Pilipinas. Ah, I just think it's a little bit backward. I think they need um, new blood to handle Bini Bini Pilipinas. Um, is that this the same old lady? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... kind of. No, but, but, um, um, but when you're when you're in there, I, I, what I really want is I want like kind of like the inside scoop. When you're when you're when you're trying to go out for Bini Bini Pilipinas, and what's what are some of the things that maybe people don't know in our in our pageant? Well, I don't know. I mean, when I was a candidate, they 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 treated everybody fair. Mm-hmm. Obviously, people were saying that you know I had the be- I had a I had a better edge because I was with GMA and Bini Bini Pilipinas was with GMA at that time. But um, I don't think it's true. I think I had a pretty good chance. I mean, I think I. Oh yeah, no, definitely. I, I'm, I'm not. Even, I'm, we're not yeah. going to doubt you winning because you know there's only a re- truly a few really attractive girls every year. Everyone else is just kind of like whatever, you know. But um, is there anything going on kind of afterwards? Like, yeah, like after I mean, you win. Yeah. The, the, the well, sort of. I mean, they know. don't really want. They don't really want us to work, which oh. is why a lot of the beauty queens that win, you don't really see them on TV. Yeah. They want us at Arenata every day, basically Monday to Sunday. And right. we sit there and wait until, you know, the owner decides to come when, whatever time she wants to come. And we have to wait for her until so, she gets there. And what we do is she makes us watch um, beauty pageants from different countries like Venezuela. And they're all in, you know, they're all in Portuguese or, or Mexican. And we have to sit there and watch it the <laughs> whole fucking day. Is it so, exclusive to, this, to these families? You know? What do you mean? You mean 
you have to wait for her. Well, no, because it's it it, it the, the 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 pageant is run by one family, uh-huh. p- pretty much no, one, one lady, one one well, lady, yeah, one lady yeah, right? Come. That's just the way it is. That's just it's the way like it is. Donald she Trump it. runs the Miss Universe pageant. Yeah, and okay. Julia Morley That's how it runs is. Miss yeah. World. Yeah, that's just how it is. And um, she wants you there every day, basically. And you know, and um, during my year, I I couldn't have that because I was working for MTV at that time, and she absolutely hated it. She didn't yeah. like the fact that I was going to events and you know, and I was seen out a lot. And she even asked me to um, to stop working for MTV. But I was like, no, screw it, I can't. Yeah, you're not letting me work on TV. I have to have some income. So I was doing it behind her back. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Just wanted to know that. Mike, you're 27. You have a question. You're from Manila. What's up? Hello? Yeah, Mike, you're on the show. What's going on? Yes. Uh, hello, Mo. Yes, sir. Uh, What's up? Uh, good evening to Dr. Gan and Hi. first to your guest. Yes, oh. Maggie Wilson's here. What, what, what's your question? Let's go. Um, I just want to ask Dr. Gan if uh, how can I uh, distinguish uh, a piss or a squirt? When you're having sex, how do you know the difference between your girlfriend urinating on you and squirting uh, from an orgasm? Um, yeah, because, um, actually, I'm uh, I'm one of the guy who comes fast, and so to com- compensate that, I do uh, are a lot of things. And yeah, you have to. Cause really, if you're a guy that that's ejaculating at a really quick rate, you better master other fucking uh, you know foreplay yeah. stuff like that because. You know, again, everybody wants to be happy when you're making love with your wife or having Just sex with your girlfriend. Man. Now, the thing is, so, so let's say you're you're uh, giving oral sex to your girlfriend, right? Yeah. And then so, all of a sudden, the uh, water works. Sometimes I, 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 I don't know if. It's a or a squirt. Uh, okay. I don't know. All right, yeah. Well, that's a good question. Like, if you're having straight sex and then the liquids are falling out, <laughs> if, if it's piss, you almost forgive it because you're like, yeah, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. But if it's coming in your face, <laughs> like, like you know, again, it's just firing out of your nose and stuff like that, <laughs> then you'd like to know if that's urine or not. Um, Gan... Easy. Female ejaculate versus uh, urination. Well, uh, what's the difference? Yeah, I've heard you say that this, this squirting thing just came out of a couple of years ago. Well, no. I mean, the, the phenomenon yeah. of it has, has gotten into the mainstream in the past, I'd say, five years. Prior to this, I've never heard of girls squirting before. Now it's almost like it, it's something that people strive for. And I guess it's cool because when guys have orgasms, there's, they, they produce something. There's an actual physical manifestation of our orgasm. And if a girl can do that, that would be great for everybody. Guys would be like, "Yeah, look at that! I made her freaking look at that." Look at that. Okay, Mo, <laughs> have you have you coming out have of her? Have you, you personal know? experience something like this? No, I don't, uh, Maggie. No, not really. Because it doesn't happen. No, it happens. It, it, the, doc, I mean, doc, yeah, it, it happens. It's it's just, ha- okay, um, the hold mi- on. There are minor, the small okay. percentage of women that can do it. But, but it's not that. It's not like you semen coming out. It's not that much. The, the volume is not that much. Does it smell like uh, yeah. like the, the guys? No. Does it Lorox. smell like Lorox? It, it, it's more, it's more no. liquidy than it is sticky. Yeah. Right? That's why yeah. people mistake it for piss. But, You'll never yeah. mistake a, a male ejaculate for urine. But the difference is if, if a female would squirt, um, the difference between it and the urine is urine is more watery. It's more liquid than that one. Yeah, but the squirting thing is pretty liquid too. Have you ever seen the videos yeah. of squirting? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you go to your favorite porn site or whatnot. <laughs> Most of this are it just urine. Look, it looks like urine. Yeah. It, it, the way that it comes out, in it's the, just the, I think cloudier. The yeah. psi yeah. Uh, of it firing out of the vagina is very urine-like as um, well. You'll know if it's urine because it's the diameter of the the what do you call it? The stream. Yeah, it's bigger. Okay, so okay, I got you. Because you've got two pores, two two holes there, other than the <laughs> yeah, two holes there, other than the one that where urine comes out, the urethra. <laughs> it's smaller. It's just like um, pinholes. Okay. Okay. So not much um, flow will come out from it <coughs> if um, one's going to squirt. All it's right. It's coming from both sides of that va- vaginal hole. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. So is is that a skill? Or, uh, no, I, 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 I don't know. You know what, I, I, Doc? I'm not a doctor, but I'm going to go ahead and just give from 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 what I see in, in and from what I hear from people who do squirt. It's a biological thing. It's either you can pull it off or you can't. It's just like how you can you can tie a knot with your tongue. Well, no, so that's a skill, you, though, Doc. It's, it's, it's when I say thing. it's no, it's not. I it's biological. <laughs> you can. It's like yeah. if your body can. It, it's it goes back to. 
can all females orgasm? No. Not no. because you're doing anything wrong. Not because she's not doing anything right. It's because biologically she's not able to orgasm, yeah. period. Mm-hmm. Now, so, it's the same thing. You can't squirt if your body doesn't let you do it. It doesn't matter if something's ah, doing it. Okay, now I'll get you. Yeah. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like, are you orgasmic type of girl, Maggie? Yeah. Okay. And, I'm very fortunate. Okay, and you can, you can do the double, triple, 50-time orgasm? Yeah. Okay, but no squirting. Mm-mm. See, mm-hmm. you're still having the orgasm. There's yeah. just no physical mm-hmm. manifestation right. because your body does not allow for right. it. It doesn't have that option. So, what's the best part that you can make uh, a girl do? Do that again. Now, as Mo has said, this is its individual. It it depends on each individual. Right. Yeah. But but how do you get there? Well, oral sex is always the best way. Orgasm. It, it's it's the, it's just it's just really is the um, <laughs> yeah. the easiest way. That's what you do. All right. Okay. But if she is if if it's not squirting and it's piss and you're doing it oral sex wise, that's awesome. You know what other women do? That's awesome. Um, a, a, a the good, whole time, no, because it's like this. The whole time, it's like, look at me, yeah, look at me, make her fucking. <laughs> she's she's squirting all over me. Look at this. She she can't she can't take it. All of a sudden, it's uh, she's peeing. Yeah, on me the you're, whole you're time. swallowing it's, piss. You know what all. they do? You know what they do? They they drink lots of fluids or water. Then it 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 makes their bladder big. And then every time the they have sex, it stimulates the bladder and then gives them a different sensation. Okay, and that's if it's pee. pee right that's now. if it's yeah, pee. If it's pee. All right. So, um, what's your name again? Uh, Mike. Yeah. Just make sure she's not drinking a lot before you guys have mm-hmm. sex. So, yeah. you know, the chances of her accidentally peeing on your face is lessened. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Anything. Uh, anyway, Mo, um, congratulations or, on your podcast. and yung Congratulations on your pe. sporting girlfriend. Trust me, it's way better than the podcast. <laughs> way better than the podcast. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Ramon Bautista is the best. <laughs> yeah, he was awesome last night. Thanks yeah. for the call. Bye-bye. Yeah, okay. I wonder that guy who had 40 partners. Yeah. How many of those were able to squirt? Now, again, like, you know, it, it, one or two, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Jose, you're 20. What's up? Hello. I have a question. Go. Uh, how do you respond to your girlfriend if she, out of the blue, tells you now she's not ha- happy in her relationship? You know? well, and the he... thing is, uh, she doesn't know what's wrong, and I obviously have no idea what's wrong. She doesn't know what's wrong? Obviously, she knows no. what's wrong. Yeah. No, no. She just doesn't want to tell you. Yeah, Jose, there's a difference. When, when a guy says he's not happy with a relationship and when a girl says she's not happy with a relationship, it, it, Maggie, tell me if you're right or wrong. If a girl says, I'm not happy here, it, they're, they're giving you a chance mm-hmm. to make it right. Exactly, yeah. If a guy says, I'm not happy in this relationship... It's almost it's breakup over. is right around the corner. <laughs> right. If a guy goes, I'm not happy, you can almost anticipate it's going to end in a few hours. <laughs> if, a guy, if a girl says she's not happy, it's almost like, hey, listen, let's spice it up. Let's get, you get, let's get, let's get happy again. Let's fight less. Right. It's almost... Uh, she's giving you the chance to ask her what's wrong. It's a wrong. warning shot. Yeah. Guys don't give that warning shot. It's, if I'm unhappy, I'm unhappy, and it's usually generally over. So, Jose, if your girlfriend says she's not happy, this is your chance to analyze what's going on, try to break it down, and try to figure out what you can do to get her happy again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she's not telling me that she wants to break up. Mm-hmm. No, she's actually giving you a chance, Aww. basically. Yeah. And you have to ask her what's wrong, and then you know you have to find something to compromise. And if you, if you don't know what's wrong, revert back to the days you were courting her. How right. did you win her over? Start doing but those it, things again. Yeah. But isn't it expected that after some time, we'll not get to the honeymoon stage? Not if you're 20, no, Jose. Hell no, How long have you guys been together? Uh... Uh, <laughs> almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. No, that's it's still, not, that's, not I think general. that's still pretty much and in the honeymoon it's, stage. And it's not a honeymoon stage at your age, Jose. All right. So just analyze what's going on. Figure out what has changed since you first got together when you were quote unquote in your honeymoon stage, and then revert to that. Try try to win her back. Oh, okay. All Thanks, right. Man. Thanks, man. Bye bye. Uh, let's keep it going. Here we have uh, Chuck. You're 20. Fairview. Question for Maggie. What's up? Chuck. 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 Give him three seconds here. And no. He wants to know if you ever give a foot job. The foot job is another one of these phenomenon things that the have come out. What the fuck is in, a foot job? You know what a foot job is? No. It's like a hand job, but with your feet. Fuck no. You never have a foot job. No. You know, lubricate the kind of the, 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 the arcs of what, your feet. Use my feet and run. Yeah. You never tried that. No. But you're gonna. Maybe, see, maybe yes, I will. Yes, I saw it in your face. Sounds like, interesting. No, what the fuck is really? <laughs> <laughs> we'll right. see, we'll see. Roy, you're 18. Uh, you have a question. What's up? Wait, 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 wait. Roy, huh? let's go. So, so I, got, I got my friend. Uh, this, uh, I got my girl 
girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. She uh she she's got uh she's got a baby na. Okay. She's only 18. She's only 17. Okay. She's got okay. a baby na. And, and the baby's not yours? No, not mine. Okay, and So she, the her the, the dad abandoned her. Sure. So but she's still looking for a boyfriend. Of and course. Yeah, of had, course. She had she had a boyfriend. I I she, like she had a boyfriend and she wanted to to have sex still even though she had you know a baby and uh, and me being the friend I I was against it. So Roy, okay. just because she has a baby doesn't mean she can't have sex ever again. And you know and yeah, it doesn't mean that she's going to get pregnant every single time she has sex. Yeah, but, but the guy you like no, and she the guy doesn't like condoms and, and well, yeah, tell well, her then to tell take her, birth yeah, control pills. If she's gonna, if she's willing to she have sex, she doesn't have money. Birth control pills are cheaper money, than so babies. You can get buy it free. a lot. Do you know you can get it free? Where, where can you get it free? Health centers. Health centers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then get it free. Actually, go to the health center for your friend, and yeah. then get her the birth control pills for her. Yeah, uh, but uh, I, I don't want her to, you know, just because the guy. I can see the guy. She's, uh, he's <coughs> going out with other girls. Then you advise her about that. Yeah. Yeah, but... Is she your friend? She likes to, if she's your friend, she she's going to listen guy. to you. And Actually, and that's not friend. necessarily true either. <laughs> Roy, friend. Roy, Roy, you understand Roy. we're not even listening to you. How? What no, do you want her to... You want her to listen to you? You got to... You <laughs> got to... You got to be more compelling, Roy. Yeah. Oh, 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 right, Even oh, to right. this very moment, I still have no idea what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> you have a you have a friend who you have a girl you have a friend who's a girl who got yep. pregnant. She gave yep. birth. She was yep. seventeen, and now she's going out with a guy who's 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 seeing other girls at the same time. Yep. Okay, your girlfriend. I mean, so your friend who's a girl. Yep. Is a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Not because she got pregnant, but because she's she's just bouncing around from bad dude to bad dude to bad dude. Now you can you can you can advise her on 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 uh, stopping it, but she needs she needs an ass kicking, mm-hmm. not physical, but you know uh, like like a life lesson. Oh yeah, oh oh I I see I see yeah. Yeah, you need to rip and her a you new asshole. Basically, not, and you're not a, you're not you're not you're not compelling enough to give this to her. No, you guys have to do this as a group. You should, where's her parents? Well, why is why are there no parenting going on here? She's seventeen. Oh, her parents suck. Yeah, of course her parents suck. That's why she's like that. <laughs> That's why she got pregnant at seventeen. Yeah. You know, I, I'm just yeah, yeah. It's no, no nothing's gonna. I don't you know. Stop. I, I, I want you know what, Roy? If yeah. I was standing <laughs> on the fucking roof of a building about to kill myself, and you're the only one <laughs> available to talk me down, Roy, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you understand oh. what I'm saying, Roy? I don't expect you to be a great orator. You don't have to be Barack Obama. You don't have to be anybody who's great at the podium. But you 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 have to just group your thoughts together if you want to talk her out of it. Oh, I just yo, hope you're, I hope you're nervous is what you are. Yeah, I I am. This is first time, first time, long time. Oh. All right, Roy. But I'm a dead guy. Okay, if I'm standing on the roof and I'm thinking about killing myself, you're gonna kill I me. I really love you, man. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> thanks for the call. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, and thanks. that's how you end the call. All right, yeah, man. Yeah. Bye bye. Gay moments. Jimmy, you're 50. I wonder who if if Damn. Jimmy if Jimmy's the oldest caller call we've it. ever there. had. How about we ask him if he's seen women who squirt? Can you stop with the fucking <laughs> squirting, Gan? Jesus. Come on, come on. No, you, you linger on all of these things. <laughs> Jimmy, what's up? Oh, nothing much. All right. Uh, well, I just, you know, uh, as I told er- earlier. Yeah. I have an ex-girlfriend and that's it. Uh, I impregnated her and then... Uh, you made it with her, God. I, she, he you know, impregnated oh, her. Oh, impregnated. Okay, so you have you're you're married. You have a girlfriend that you impregnated. Yes. Okay, and she's uh, twenty seven years old, and uh, she 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 have a boyfriend that time. Okay. Okay. Uh, long time boyfriend, about ten years. All right. And then uh, after uh, after that, I just you know. Uh, nabalitaan ko na lang nanganak na siya and then alam ko sa akin yun eh. My question is, uh, meron ba akong right dun sa baby? You have a right to the child the moment she proves that it's your child. Because you're, you're right. just saying, ah, feeling ko, anak ko yun. It, well, she has, she's had a long time boyfriend for 10 years. It could be just as much his child as it is yours. Right. Maybe you tried getting her on pregnant on purpose. It doesn't mean that that's what happened. 
Now, yes, you have a right to the child, but she has to prove, and you all, all of you involved have to prove that that is your baby. Mm-hmm. So, Jimmy, that's, the first, that's step number one. Yeah. Does, your, does your wife know about this? Of course not. <laughs> Obviously. All right. Obviously. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. She will, she will kill me. Yeah. Okay. And this is what you want for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy. Sorry. This is this is this is the guy you are. You get what I mean? Like like you're you're like you're, you're calling the show. You're, you're cheating on your wife. You're right. imp- you're trying to impregnate uh, other girls. No, 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 it's nothing on purpose. I. Nagumbisa kami just uh, like a friend, you you know, like something like that, and then. Yeah, what do you mean not on purpose? You ejaculate, you put, you come out, in, you come... It's a decision. Yeah. If you want to sleep with her, if you want to continue something with her, it's a decision. And you did do it on purpose. Have, okay. Getting someone pregnant is, is a big decision. Yeah. All right. Jimmy, come on, buddy. Stop being an asshole, all right? Okay. Because, because not, I understand why guys would cheat on their wives. Mm-hmm. I don't understand a 50-year-old guy like you cheat on your wife. But what I want, what I want you guys to change, and all of you who call the show, is the asshole mind frame that you have when you call the program. It's like, yeah, Mo, guess what? Cheated on my wife. I'm an <laughs> asshole. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> 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 fucking a, fucking banging girls. It's that. It, you guys, I, I, if, if, oh, I, I want to get rid of all of you, because not only it are you not sorry you, yeah. about it. I'm sorry. What? Jimmy. Yeah. Continue. I mean, uh, we are on the air. Yes, we yeah. are. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, fucking 50 years old. God, if I, it, can somebody, Gant, are you going to be my friend when I'm 50? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do when you're 50? Kill me if I oh, sound like that when I'm 50. Just put a gun <laughs> to my head and I will thank you. Uh, Mark, you're 26. Pasig, what's up? Uh, hi, Mo. Yeah, what's up? I uh, just want to clarify some stuff about, you know, I say you, my girlfriend likes to swallow cum and her gay friends told her that it has a lot of protein and it will make your skin smooth or radiant. So, gusto ko lang malaman kay Doc. You, what, oh, you said, you, your, go, your gay friend said that if your girlfriend <coughs> swallows your jizz, it's going to make her skin look radiant. No, no. How her gay, gay is friend. that? Her oh, gay. her gay friend. Yeah, her yeah. gay friend said, if yeah. you, Well, honey, if you should be happy she's swallowing already. No, but isn't that, isn't that a typical of what a gay guy would do? <laughs> <laughs> Swallow semen, it radiates your skin. <laughs> that's, that's what they told her and I just want to clarify if it's true because I was surprised she's doing it every time we do it, man. You know what? You got to, That's awesome. And just keep telling her that her skin looks all. Yeah, yeah, just keep complimenting her. You should be happy. <laughs> just, just keep on reiterating it. Again, so, but in, on a medical. You look good. You look good. You look good. Yeah. 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 Wow, you know, you, all of a sudden, it just start bringing up yeah. other things. Wow, you know, you're, you're making more money. You know, it's just it's, it's everywhere. But again, on a medical standpoint. Um, semen is not going to radiate your skin. All right. Mm, no. It's no. okay. Semen is composed of the sperm, it's made of protein. Oh. You've got um, sugar, fructose. Mm. You've got alkaline phosphatase and secretions from the prostate glands. Okay. Um, if ever, it can, it, oh, it also has zinc. So if you're sick, you know, zinc is good. Yeah. But if ever it's going to make yourself or the skin um, radiant, well, you have to drink a lot. Okay, yeah. an average ejaculate can reach, say, okay, say, eight to ten ml. Wow. Okay, okay, that much? Um, no. Jeez. Yeah. All right. So she has to line up like seventeen guys and give them. <laughs> yeah. Give and then to every time she burps, she smells <laughs> like no, the, her maybe, burple. Maybe smell I'll like. just I'll let her do it and I'll buy a papaya soap para ay papano, di ba? Yeah. Okay. Psychological. <laughs> yeah. Good times, Mark. Thanks for the yeah. call. Appreciate it. Bye bye. <laughs> Estraline, you're twenty-one. You're in Quezon City. What's up? Hello, good afternoon po. Ay, good evening po. Yeah, good evening. Hingi lang po sana ako ng... Ay, good afternoon, DJ Mo, Maggie, and Dr. Gad. Sure. Hingi lang po sana ako ng advice kasi sobrang nahihirapan na ako sa relasyon namin mag-asawa dahil sobrang mama's boy niya. Okay. Okay. What, what is that? Estrini, is that you? Apo. Is that your phone? Apo. Okay, quit it. All right, go ahead. Continue. With the... Ayun nga po. Lahat, so, lahat ng desisyon manggagaling sa nanay niya lalo ngayon na sa kanya kasi kami umaasa na walang kami ng trabaho, ganun lahat. Lahat sa kanya, mas, mas, mas maraming oras na magkasama sila, mas sinusunod niya. <laughs> Is tonight a disaster on the phone? <laughs> it's either it's down or there's something going on. Okay. Estraline, your husband is a mama's... Is that your phone, Estraline? Apo. Yung nagda-dial in the background? Who are you calling? 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're you're probably stealing someone's phone. Line. All right. Your husband is mama's boy. It's irritating you. You're thinking of separating him from it. That that's a legitimate concern. You need to talk to him about it. You just said we can't live like this. I didn't marry your mom. I married you. I didn't right. marry any of these things. I didn't marry this stuff. You, sorry, that thing's bothering me. Let me get it out of the way. Um, this is definitely an issue that some marriages go through. Mm-hmm. You should communicate this with your husband immediately and say, "We we can't do this." Uh, yeah, I, I, you have you, some. One of you has to find a job and get out of there because they live with the mom, yeah. right? So, which is making it even the, more. Yeah, that's what's keeping the problem. Yeah, you know, maybe the husband. Yeah, the husband doesn't want to to. To go against the moms because yeah. yeah they're all dependent on the mom. Mm-hmm. You have to just get a job. Yeah, yeah they just need to get a job and get out of there. You guys have to start being adults. All right? Yeah. Kahit naman po may trabaho kami pareho. Yeah, no, it's it's not about the job though thing. I know you guys were saying, oh, get it, get an employment stuff like. It's not. It's the taking the stand to be a man, mm-hmm. right? And and to realize that you married him and not anything else. Not his mom. I know families are a part of the marriage and things like that, but you're falling out of love with this guy because of this behavior. So get rid of him. I mean, I get, get get rid of this problem, all right? Okay. Yeah, lang po. Yun nga, sabi ko kung papipiliin ko nga yata siya sa ngayon, mas pipiliin niya yung nanay niya kaysa sa amin dalawa ng anak. Well, guess what? You're 21, then fucking leave him. And you're fine. You're still young. You'll, you'll be able to you yeah. recover. Po kasi kaming anak. It doesn't matter. Okay lang, okay lang yan. I'm sure you can take care of your, your kid. You can find a better man who will take care of your child. But of course, give him the chance to, to shape yeah. up first, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks. Thank, thanks for the call. All right. 659-6969 is the phone number. We have a few open lines here. If you want to give us a call, we are giving away a laptop, a Lenovo laptop, to tonight's best winner, and everybody who gets through gets one of these. Back after this, don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pang San Meg Light bucket? Pare, ano pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay. Maganda ang gabi, pagmasaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan, Sun Mig Light. Drink moderate. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin that glows? Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS...
Plus 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Dati di ako makasabay. We broke through the global market, and keeping in touch with foreign clients became very important. So I got my DSL bis, yung 8 Mbps, ha? Ngayon, kahit saan ka pa, Asia, Europe, America, walang problema. Lakas ng resback ko eh. My DSL bis. This is Darius Hizon, bossing ng Pampangas Best. There are people who are pro-life, pro-choice, pro-this, and pro-that. For me, I'm pro-fun. That's why my friends and I enjoy hanging at TGI Fridays. They've got small plates to share and pass around and bottomless drinks that will last all night. Try it for yourself. Head to TGI Fridays now. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Makunag naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sandmig Light. And powered by Smart Bro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show on this Tuesday morning. You're listening to the Good Times with Mo podcast. It's brought to you by Sandmig Light, the 100 calorie light beer. I always uh, like to talk about how you can enjoy a bunch of Sandmig Light and not feel full, not get dr- not get super drunk so fast, so you can extend that wonderful flight of drinking. There's Sandmig Light. You're doing the Lord's work. Uh, Smart Bro, <laughs> by the way, as well, powering this whole thing. Thank you very much, Smart Bro, for always being supportive of all our projects. Um, and I really want to remind everyone from uh, about San Miguel Light. They have a new endorser. We're going to be la- they're going to be launching them next week. I think February first. On February second, she will be here on the show. They even have a new commercial out for her. So uh, watch out for that. Our phone number is six five nine sixty nine sixty nine. You can get on the program. Maggie Wilson is here. Hello, Maggie. Hi. Hope you're having a good time. I am. Tomorrow, boys' night out. <laughs> Thursday, Will Devon. Friday. Ria and Ramos. And then next week, all females. Uh, so far, we have on uh, Tuesday, Isa Calzado. We have uh, Wednesday, is that uh, our San Miguel Light endorser. Mm-hmm. Thursday, we have Senator P. Cayetano. And we'll round it all out uh, Monday and Friday, probably later in the week. We'll go ahead and uh, confirm on that. Nice. All right, let's go to Skype. Our Skype uh, account is Good Times with Mo Podcast. You can call us, get yourself on the show, and let's talk to Wilson, I believe, who's here. Wilson, you're 33. You're on Skype. What's up? Hi. Hi, Wilson. What's going on? Uh, I have a qu- uh, good, uh, good evening. Yeah, good evening. You're on the show. Question. Go ahead. Uh, I, I have a question. Does, does Kiko technique really work? I'm sorry. Can you speak into the speaker a little bit more? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Your question? Does Kiko technique really work for... The, the Kegel or the Kegel technique. Now, Wilson, you're 33. You're from uh, Lipa Batangas. Doc Gan, the, the Kegel thing, the, the, that, it, that's the squeezing of the penis, right? Yeah, Kegel maneuver. Yeah, wh- why do guys do this? No, it's not the guys. It's the girls, it's the girls who do, that it. do it. It's the muscles you know, yeah. down I thought, there that, I thought that the, squeezes the, the, the guy's the penis. The Kegel thing or the Kegel thing was when the guy squeezes his penis right before he ejaculates so he, so he, to, to no. delay. That's not it? No. So tell me, what is it? Or Maggie, what is it? Joking. No, well, I, I, what, well I, what I know of it is that you know us women, our muscles down there, has you know can, can actually squeeze yeah. the penis can, voluntarily. Can. Like We mm-hmm. can control it. it. Okay. Yeah. And, and some guys do, like it. Oh, because it yeah. makes them feel tighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much, I suppose. So what if you what if you like you're having sex with the, the loosest vagina of all, and they st- <laughs> and they're still doing the kegel exercise thing, and it's still like you can put like three or four in there. 
Oh, that's she so must have sad. been. A, she must have been around the world, and I. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, Wilson. So, is it effective so, no. in what? What do you mean? Is yeah, it effective? What do you mean? I I, uh, I never tried uh, it. You don't try it because you don't have a vagina, Wilson. Yeah. Would my penis be locked? Oh, with a, oh see, would that's, it lock? That's what we're oh, talking that's, about. That's what yeah. we were talking about mm-hmm. off air. No. So what is is it going to be locked or not? No. No. All right. No. That lock vagina lock. The vaginal lock. Thing. It's vaginismus. Again, yeah, we've vaginismus. talked about this more. Yeah, since since the John Lloyd thing has just, again, <laughs> another, just another phenomenon that, uh, up there with squirting and everything else that has hit the society in the, mm-hmm. in, the, in, the, in the recent times. All right, let's go to Ginger. You're uh, 38. You're from Passai. Ginger, what's up? <coughs> Ginger. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Go ahead. <coughs> yeah. Hi. Um, I I I have a question. Okay. And hi, Georgina. It's Maggie. Maggie. Oh, Maggie. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Other Georgina. That's awesome. All right. Ginger. It's I'm really Maggie. Sorry about no, that. probably. Go ahead. It's okay. Don't worry right. about it. No, but not, not a bad comparison, by the way. Not mm-hmm. a person to be compared yeah. yeah. You know, if somebody calls me and says, hey, uh, Joe Bertzokadita, what's going on? Then oh, I, my I God. Like, <laughs> Ginger, go ahead. Okay. Maggie, have you gone out with foreign guys? Foreign guys? Not really. Um,. The the forest I've, I've the the closest foreign guy I've gone out with was half German, and half Brit. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's about it. All right. Okay. What's, well, what, my what, question is, yeah. um, is it is it kind of normal, uh, to, to date? Because uh, I actually prefer dating foreigners okay. rather than Pinoy. Okay. Technically, because it has something to do with sex. Okay. Okay. Why? What well, what what do the foreign guys bring to the bedroom that the locals are not bringing? From it your experience, like, it seems like with foreigners, um, I'm more vocal. I'm more. I'm more open. You're more vocal about your sexuality, things like that, or you're more loud in bed. Doing the deed. Oh, so you're louder in bed when you're having sex if it's a foreigner. Yeah, and it seems like with you know, I, uh, I tend to get shy. Why? Why? I don't know. That's a really interesting mm-hmm. comment no. there. So when you're having sex with Filipino guys. You're not loud because you're shy, and if it's yeah. foreigners, I you know what I think it is. I think it's because you have the notion that because they're Westerners and stuff like that, they can that, handle it, or you know, well, not handle it, but they're, they're more sexual. Yeah, yeah, they're more sexually out right. there. We we watch it in the mm-hmm. movies, we see it in the media that right. oh, if you're from this country, everyone's having sex. So you mm-hmm. all of a sudden can be the wild girl yeah. because they're probably used to seeing wild girls. Mm-hmm. And if you're having sex with a Filipino guy, you're thinking, nah. oh my god, mm-hmm. this is the, probably the first time he's seen anyone this wild. <laughs> I don't want to look like a whore. You know, <laughs> I, I have to. I have to pretend that I'm mahin hin and all these things. So that's why you enjoy the foreigner guys. Listen, you could be vocal in bed with a Filipino guy. Yeah. He's going to enjoy it. Yeah. The he, more, yeah, but you, the thing is, I can't. Why not? I don't know. Well, stop it. You just fucking open your mouth and start <laughs> noise. <laughs> noise coming out of it. Ginger, how vocal are you? Let me Give me an example. Give me an example oh, of how no. vocal you are with a, with a Filipino guy and how vocal you are with a Westerner. Well, at least with with foreigners, um, I'll be able to speak what what I wanted them to do. Okay, I, I know. Okay, let's pretend. Let's pretend everyone. Okay, we're, everyone. Let's pretend we're having sex. Okay, Gan, you're having sex oh with my. Ginger. All right. Okay. You're a local guy. Okay. Ginger, let's hear it. Well, come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, yeah, let me hear, let me hear. Come on, baby. No, no, that's not it. Okay. It's like this. I set up. Uh, no. I set up. Oh I'm the guy. You know, I tend to be quiet. You're the Filipino guy. Filipino guy. I'm the I'm the foreigner guy. All right. Oh my god. Sorry. That's, that's just what it's gonna be. Gan, oh go. Okay, Billy's. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there's one Billy's. more thing. Yeah, Billy's. Uh, because I'm actually turned off with with um Filipino words. Sure. Oh, see. Oh, see. So maybe that could be your thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, Mo, it's a. I just want to know what she means by vocal. Can we just act out? Please, everybody can fucking cooperate for a fucking second here. Ginger, I don't know you. I will never meet you. You will never meet us. We don't we know don't what you know look your, like. Yeah, we don't know you what you look like. You could be lying about your name. Who gives a shit? And you're never going to date a local guy, so all of your boyfriends will never hear this. So let's do it. The problem with this Gan. role-playing, Gan. I just mow and mow. Okay, then I don't care about <laughs> hearing you, Gan. I want to hear her. Can you just fucking play along? Please, yeah, Gan. but then you were saying Gan will be, Dr. Gan will be the Filipino. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So I just had to be quiet. Okay, then be quiet, but let's play around. All right, hold on. Gan, go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Two pumps and that's it. Come, Come on, on. Gan. Come on, Gan. <laughs> what you waiting for? Go Str- stretch mm. your abilities here. Go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Puta. 
<laughs> All right. Now I'm the foreigner. Here we go. Okay. Ginger, I want I want you I want you to do exactly what you do in real life, all right? Um sorry? I'm the foreigner guy, all right? Are you ready? <laughs> Ginger? All right. You ready? All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger. I could hardly hear you. Ginger. I can hardly hear you, baby. Come on. I've heard stories about you. Let's go. You're 38. You're a cougar. Come on. Oh, man. Ah, really? That's all? Let's go. That's it? Let, let's get loud, baby. Like like Jennifer Lopez. What's up? Ginger. Turn around. I'll get you from behind. Here we go. Turning you around. Now I'm doing it from behind. Now let's hear the Let's hear the sound. Come on. Ginger. Okay. Are you hard for me? Yes. That's a, that's okay. your sexy voice. That's it. You suck. That's your sex Man. voice. <laughs> Are you hard for me? What you can't feel it. <laughs> ginger, okay. four go. inches, Mo. Come on, inches. Ginger. Let's go. All right. Can you put it all in? It's all in, baby. You know how it is. It's all in, all the way from all four inches, all the way from Amsterdam. Let's go. Yeah, give it to me. Mm. That's it. <laughs> wow. How boring. I want more. Okay, continue. Deeper, <laughs> yeah, harder. Sure. All right. You like that? The more. Yeah, that's right. That's it, Ginger. And <laughs> All right, baby. That's fine. All right. Yeah, you know, go out with the foreigner guys because you sound like a corpse when you're with with, with a local dude. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay to be vocal in bed, whether you want to be with a Filipino guy, whether you be in a foreign guy. I encourage it. Both. So is, both. is that kind of normal? Yeah, it's normal, and you should. I encourage it. I mean, definitely don't be bastos. Don't be like you know, I'm put this dick in your ear. You know, don't do shit <laughs> like that. But you know, just you know, be. be just, Express yourself. Right. I mean, you, it's, it's an enjoyment. Okay. Yeah, it's enjoyment. And and it, it, any kind of verbal, um, any kind of verbal, uh, what what is this? What I'm trying to say here, Maggie? Um, dirty talk. Yeah, you dirty yeah, talk, or whether exactly. kind of just any expression, verbal expression. It really makes the experience a lot better. Just don't say really obnoxious lines. Right? Oh yeah. All right. Of course. Okay. Have you ever had phone sex? I'm sorry. Have you ever yeah. had phone sex? Phone sex? No, never done that before. Okay, you should. I, actually, this is the first time between you and I. And, I, and by the way, quite honestly, I hated it. <laughs> All right, Ginger. Thanks for the call, love. All right, right bye bye. Tomorrow, no. patients will come in, then we'll be making those sounds. Yeah. Mm. And the doc is gonna be. Can I listen? Mm. Can I listen to your heart? Hold on. Mm. 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 <laughs> God, you, you sounded like you were having sex with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sincerely. <laughs> she told you the what? Oh, my God. Oh, that's so nasty. Paco, you're 34. Quezon City, what's up? Hey, man. What, what's going on? Uh, I'm on a fucking crossroad. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what's the problem? Okay. Yeah. Uh, God, it's a really long story, but I'm going to make it short, right? Please. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I have, I'm 34. I have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get married, right? And uh, we have this business. And, uh, of course, a business. You know, have family business. Uh, they give you, like, the... <laughs> Like uh, at my age, if I work in a corporate setting, I would be receiving like what fifty thousand, seventy thousand a month, right? All right. Okay. They're just giving me like ten grand. What? Uh, just of course, and then they say they they tell me that that you know the business is gonna go to you anyway. So why, why would you, why would we give you a lot like you know uh, money that big, right? Okay, hold on, hold on and one second. You're you're married to your girlfriend. No, no, no. I want to get married. You want to get married, so and then. Who do you work for? Then, you work uh, for your family or, or her yeah, family? Yeah, I, work for, I work for my father. Your father. father. Okay. okay. Yeah, all right. And um, here's, here's the rub, man. Uh, my father doesn't like my girlfriend because she's like older than me. And that's, that, that's, that's it. How many? How, okay, you're 34. How, how old is your girlfriend? 35. That's nothing. Yeah. All right, I see. Right. No, no. Here, 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 here's the thing. Uh, my dad already told me that, you know, if you marry, that, marry, marry your woman, I'm going to cut you off. Okay, well then you should be a man if you really love her. Go find another yeah, job. Yeah, but that, 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 it doesn't, that doesn't leave me anything. I mean... Uh, yeah, you're not going to inherit anything. I, I barely, I barely uh, saved, en saved enough money for myself. Okay. So of, you're more concerned about the inheritance? Of... As opposed what? to... You're more concerned about your inheritance as opposed to... No, 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 it's not the inheritance, but you know... All these all this years that I've worked for my family, for, for my father, you know, the, the savings-wise... Mm -hmm. It's really small. Yeah, because I mean, he's giving you ten. Could... Yeah, he's giving you ten grand when you think you deserve seventy. Of course, you're not going to be able. Now, yes, yes, now, is course. the business lucrative? What is the business lucrative? Do you guys oh. make the... no? Yeah, it does. 
It is? Yeah, fuck. I think this is a very... Sinasakal niya ako. Okay. Is your dad retiring soon? Uh, not, I don't think so. All right. He, this is the way a, things okay. are going right now, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, this is a great problem. This is a great topic of discussion. Mm-hmm. Hold on one second. I want to go around the room here. Maggie, realistically, right. if my parents were wealthy as shit mm-hmm. and I'm not getting anything and mm-hmm. I'm under the, the, the dictatorship of my father, yeah. um, if it means that I'm going to inherit a whole lot, I might stomach it, even though it means sacrificing, compromising uh, of, uh, of 10 years of my life. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe and I five have to be years. in a relationship with you all throughout. Yeah. What if I told you, look, you know how much money we make. You I know deserve- how much money my family makes. Mm-hmm. He's going to retire in five years. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to quit and then risk and, you know, taking all of that yeah. to a normal job? That- I can work on my own and I can make my own shit. All right. And so, if Maggie, he can't, yeah. Yeah. Here's the deal, right? I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay. I only have like two hundred fifty grand on my account. I'm gonna get married next year. Who's paying for it? Uh, I am, of course. You are. Okay. They, 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 they're, they're gonna cut me off. You know, Paco, I this is tough. Married, so how's what, your, what, what how's, your how's your girlfriend to be taking it? Is she happy? Does she mind? Oh, she doesn't know it yet. So wait, your your parents don't like her. So you don't take her to family lunch, or you don't take her out to dinners with your parents? Well, they already met her once, but you know, but they 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 learned that she's like a year older. My my dad, my dad, my dad, my she's just my dad. You know, obviously, your girlfriend she can sniff that out that your parents don't like her. Any girl it's could. Just, it's just my dad, you know. She doesn't talk. You know, Paco. To me. Doesn't listen. Talk to it, it, yeah. Okay, in this situation, oh, it's so tough. It's because so tough. It's so yeah, tough it because really is difficult. I'm trying to be realistic. In our country, where if you're if you don't have a good job or if you're not making a lot of money, it's a difficult struggle. Yeah. Um, Gan, just, I don't want to stick you out of this conversation. What What do you think he should do? Then I'll give my thoughts. Wait it out. Wait it out, right? Yeah, wait it yeah. out. This is the most practical thing. Yeah, you know. The problem uh, is your. Let, let me like Dr. Gang. All right, she's thirty-five. Mm. We need to have a kid soon. <laughs> if, if I'm planning to uh, to uh, marry her, we need to have a kid soon. Right. The time is running out. At, at least for her. Have you talked to your dad? When when's he going to transfer the business to you? Oh no, wala pa. How old is your dad? Uh, around sixty-eight. Do you have any siblings? You know what? He's not going to last yeah. any much longer. You yeah. know. He's gonna last two to three years. I, that's that's my opinion. And mm-hmm. if you tell your dad we're gonna have a baby, we're gonna get married. I need a be- I need a better salary. You know what? I, that actually crossed my mind. How that, many know, are you waiting dude, for that just, position? Just, just have a kid. You know, when the kid's there, I, I eventually I think that they're gonna change their mind. Mm. Mm-hmm. They have like they have like you know. I'm the only son. Yeah, I'll go so, with you on oh, that yeah, plan. Dude, I'll you're go the only you. son. Yeah. Well then. Hate you or not, or hate hate your wife or not, he's still gonna have to leave the business with you. You yeah. are the only son. They don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. Exactly. Yeah, but you don't want to ruin that thing. It, it's a tough call, Paco. Yeah. You know, it's really fifty fifty. Obviously, everybody wants to be their own man. Every it, it's the attractive thing for your for your your fiance to to have a guy who can stand up and all that shit. But I mean, in the real world where money is difficult, if you're gonna be given a business that is already successful and it's gonna fall down in your lap, you might. Might just have to sacrifice a little bit of esteem, be a little bit of a bit. balls, and all that stuff, and just kind of wait it out. He's, he's, he's going to be gone. He's in, the only son. He's going to yeah, be I gone know. in three years. Yeah. 
I, I think you can suck it up a little bit. The only problem, Paco, I would have liked if you were 24 and not 34. You're 34 <laughs> and you're still and you still have to wait for your parents to give you money. That kind of fucking sucks. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So it's really I'm really 50 50. I'm either I won't I won't judge you wrongly if you leave, and I won't judge you wrongly if you stayed. Okay. All right. Man. It's it's usually one or one or the other. That's a, that's a tough problem to do. Yeah, I know. All right. Thanks, man. Anyway, do it. Hey, thanks, 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 man. No worries. Bye, bye. Uh, Darla, you're 35. A lot of a lot of older people uh, on I the know. show today. It's kind of weird. Darla, you're 35. What's up? <laughs> Darla. Hello. Yes. yes. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, may I just ask a question? <coughs> yung kasi sabi ni Daddy ba? Uh, lit, um, yung Pasensya na, nervous ako. Don't worry, go ahead. Uh, yung guys to kasi, mas mabilis mag-cam kaysa sa girls. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Pero mas na-uuna ko dun kaysa, kaysa sa partner ko. Good. Well, Very good. good. Very good. Congratulations. Tapos, kung kunwari 15 minutes kaming nagdudu. Yung sa 8 nag-do-do. minutes. Nagdudu. Tapos na. <laughs> That's very sexy. Ay, tapos na ako. Yeah. with other men. Uh, well, stop, yeah, no, stop with that traditional bullshit. I, yeah, no. What was, what was her problem? Her sister yeah. had, her, has been widowed for a year and yeah. her, her siblings want basically want her to, to date, date already. already. No, n- enough of the, it's don't, don't believe this fable bullshit. Just, just go out. If, if, if she finds a guy that she likes, right. she should date him whenever she feels like she's ready for it. Exactly. There's no time frame to give on a person who's mourning, who's widowed, who's hurting, or anything like that. Mm-hmm. If she's ready to do it, then do it. Okay? So, right. no, 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 of course no. not. Only when she's ready, though. It's all up yeah. to her. Yeah. All right? Uh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Mark, you're 26. You're from Kolaokan. You got advice from me about cheating on your girlfriend. Your girlfriend yeah. heard the show and now is mad at you. What exactly. happened? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Uh, actually, uh, here's the thing. Uh, I asked. Uh, the, the thing is I cheated on her before and also her cheated on me. Okay. And you give me an advice to... Just talk to her and uh, just to forgive what happened and uh, just to fix the problem. And she heard the show last time. I believe that's the time when uh, uh, Diana Meneses is your guest. Okay. That time. And right now she's really mad at me. And I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't get what was my advice. You you said you cheated on her and she cheated on you. Yes. And then I can, I'm the one who called that. I uh, I found out that. She uh, he ha- she had a, a boyfriend uh, actually uh, greeting her on the radio show. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and you were uh, cheating on her too. Exactly. Okay. And then what was my advice? Uh, just you just uh, just told me that uh, I just I, I just have to talk to her, and uh, if if you want to work the relationship, we have to uh, uh, take away the things that actually give us the. Uh, the uh, the to spark up to uh, to have a uh, to to be cheap to to Mark to make Tagalog na lang, dude. You fucking struggling. <laughs> oh, parang ito, uh, fucking ito, a, uh, dude. Parang kasi pagalayuan namin yung mga bagay na para maapag cheat kami sa isa't isa. Okay, why is she mad? That's true. That's great advice. Mm, yeah, yun nga yung sabi ko sa kanya. Pero siya naman sabi niya sa akin. Parang hindi niya nagustuhan daw yung sinabi mo na sabi niya sa akin. Ang sabi niya. So uh, you you mean I'm a cheater? Sabi niya ganun sa akin. Kumbaga parang ayaw niyang i-admit na nag-cheat sa akin. That's her fucking problem. Yeah. Man. If exactly. she cheated on you, she doesn't want to admit right it. That's now, her problem. It's, it's a normal defensive reaction. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk to you? 
Yeah. You know, maybe because you publicly said that she was a cheater, even though you didn't say her name and we don't know who you are and all right. that stuff. The mm-hmm. fact that somebody called, that's a problem. See, some people are so... Defensive. Not even defensive. They're so self-centered yeah. that mm-hmm. they feel like they can't do anything wrong. So if you say you cheated and they're like, no, I didn't. And then all of a sudden you get in this big fight, mm-hmm. but when actually, actually she did, you know? So I don't know. You have to just tell her, listen, this is what you did. Mm-hmm. I asked advice and he said, my advice was good. You guys can forgive each other mm-hmm. and move on. But uh-huh. make sure you get over all of these things. And if she's she has a tough time with that, then tell her to go fuck herself because that was good advice. Eh, nga siya sabi ko sa niya, parang maganda naman yung advice. Kung baga, I'll take it positive para sa relasyon natin. Kaso, siya parang hindi niya na... Pride and ego. That's what that's what she's feeling. Yeah, right yeah. Now. She's like, how dare you say that I'm a cheater? Yeah. I'm a good person and all that. No, yeah, you cheated. Sure you are. Yeah, Against whatever. defensive mechanism. Yeah. Whatever, bitch. All right. <laughs> so, Mark, uh-huh. Mark. Listen, if she's not going to come around to admit what she did, if she's going to blame you for asking for good advice, then, you know, tell her, listen, you're the one who cheated on me. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right? Okay, thank you. Thank you again, Mo. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to be taking more of your calls at 659-6969-MILS. She's on, uh, or he or she is on hold from Paranaque. We'll take your phone call in a little while. Also, Good Times with Mo podcast. If you're on Skype and you want to give us a ring wherever you are around the world, this is the podcast. Taking a break. More of Maggie Wilson, Dr. Gannon, and myself right after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan Meg Light bucket. Pare, ano pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay. Maganda ang gabi, pagmasaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa tiyan. San Mig Light. Drink moderate. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on facebook tradeport.com.ph the e-mall of the philippines why can't we look like celebrities why do they have white skin at why do they look 10 years younger here's celebrity expert vicky bello to answer your questions celebrities stand out because of their one small secret a beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging bello nutraceuticals guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows and collagen that lifts wrinkles from within so, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Dati di ako makasabay. We broke through the global market. 
market and keeping in touch with foreign clients became very important. So I got my DSL biz, yung 8 Mbps ha. Ngayon, kahit saan ka pa, Asia, Europe, America, walang problema. Lakas ng resba ko eh. My DSL biz. This is Darius Hizon, bossing ng Pampangas Best. There are people who are pro-life, pro-choice, pro-this, and pro-that. For me, I'm pro-fun. That's why my friends and I enjoy hanging at TGI Fridays. They've got small plates to share and pass around and bottomless drinks that will last all night. Try it for yourself. Head to TGI Fridays now. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? huh? I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Pukunak naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Pro. Hi, this is Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine genius. Good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. 659-6969. My girlfriend says she hates me. Aww. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by Sandmig Light. And powered by Smartbro. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show. Here it is a Tuesday, now a Wednesday night in the Philippines. Wherever you are uh, listening for, um, from around the world, if you uh, download this the day after. It is the middle of the week, January 26th, officially now here in Manila. Uh, 659-6969 is the phone number. You can call us, get yourself on the show here, win a prize. Everybody who gets through the lines actually wins an MP3 player, a Philips Go Gear, courtesy of Tradeport.com.ph. They'll deliver it to your house. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's kind of like the eBay of the Philippines or the Amazon.com, whatever. You can go ahead on their website. A lot of cool gadgets, books, DVDs, whatever. They've got it. Go ahead and give that a shot. Um, we also want to thank, of course, our sponsors, San Mig Light, the 100-calorie Local beer. They have a uh, new endorser, and we're going to be guesting her on Wednesday. All right. And so, oh, smart bro for powering all of this. Okay, let's go to the phone calls here. Let us take Mills, who's been on hold the longest. 17 minutes, Mills. What's up? Hello. Is this Mo? Yes, my love. What's going on? You're 19. Um, what? You're 19 years old. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Um, well, actually, I called because my friend told me to call, and then I figured I'd just ask a question myself. Okay. Uh, I was talking to Don a while ago. He sort of fixed my question for me. Okay. It's, it's well, just, just, okay, enough of the background things that we don't really need to know. Get, okay. get to the question. Um, how does a girl, like, get to find the right guy without, you know, looking like a slut. You mean you want, for, you, you want to make the first move and you don't want to look like a slut? No, no, no. Not the first move. More of like... Um, Meeting Mr. Right? Yes. Because it's hard. Like, yeah, so girl, basically you mean you got to date a lot of you, frogs. But, what? Basically you got to date a lot of frogs and then meet the right guy without looking like a slut. But I don't understand how looking like a slut is, is, looking like a slut is part of the equation. Yeah. Like, what do you no, mean? Um, I mean, more of like, uh, how is this? I'm sort of really tired already of, like, you know, it's the typical flirting. Like, it gets boring. You're tired already? Then, You're wait, 19. Mills, do you, what do you, do you want to have more casual sex? Is that what it is? No, 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 no. No! I'm, I'm looking for, like, you know, just someone fun. And then, because usually boys now, if you, uh, you end up having something with them, they either want to do it or they're... If they're for the relationship, they're boring. So my question is more of like how you find from the start, like uh, the right guy, like the right chemistry for you. 
Well, that, that has nothing to do with looking like a slut. It, yeah. that, that's the part that I wanted to clear up. I have a feeling, though, I have a feeling what's going on in your life is you're going out with guys casually, you guys are having sex, and, and, no, they're, no, not, no, no, and they're not no. calling you back. Actually, I'm, uh, I haven't got any for the longest time. You're 19. Then, what are you talking about the longest time? <laughs> what's the no, longest time for I'm you? Sorry, you know what I meant was that um, I'm looking for someone that, you know, not... Not mar not yeah, I'm nineteen, that's my point. Like not marriage, but I don't want someone that I'm just gonna date for like a few months. Like Oh, so you want a serious relationship mm -hmm. basically. Mills, I have no, a I feeling I, I have a feeling the reason why you're no. asking is you're dating guys that you're fucking I'm not and they're not dating anyone. No, no, in the past you've been dating guys who are banging you and not calling you back. Be honest. No, I'm not <laughs> dating them either. You no, because they think the wrong guy just keeps popping out like no they're popping in you is what it is not popping out of you no <laughs> popping in and out of you yeah. no it's a pro uh, I'm asking the wrong things again all right so okay sorry. fine mills listen love <laughs> The reason why I think you're, you're 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 putting the question as a oh I don't want to look like a slut and stuff like that is you probably have some sort of reputation people people you're, you're probably having the wrong guys hit on you because they just want to they want to have sex with you and you're looking for a more quality individual. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. See, that's exactly what I've been saying. She totally for a long admitted time. to it. Right. <laughs> You're banging guys. Start with taking a while before you have sex with them, because I think a lot of guys yeah, right now. Yeah, give them a hard time. I think a lot of guys right now who know of you have passed the word around that, oh, if you go out with Mills, you're going to get sex in a week. You're going to get sex in two days. You're going to get sex in three days. And those are the guys you're getting, the guys who are just there to bang. Now, if you fix that reputation and you start going, okay, I'm looking for a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Less guys are going to go up to you, but the guys that do go up to you are the ones you want. Are the ones you can start sincerely considering. You're not I'm not telling you to go out with them on dates, but at least the pickings, the 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 the, the options are going to be a better group of guys. Because right now Mills I want to go to your house and bang you because I have a feel like I feel like you're gonna be naked. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're in Paranaque. It's not that far from here this time. Of night. <laughs> no, but you understand, Mills. It's a reputation thing, and it, it might be well deserved. You might have been easy a little bit in the past couple of years. You know, you're 19. That's fine. It's time to fix that. Okay. Yes, I know. All right. But like, um, can I just tell Maggie something? Sure. Maggie, I loved your prenup video. Oh, thank you. <laughs> like, that's how prenup videos should be. Make people want to stay married and stuff. Mills, Aww. Mills, how many sex tapes do you got, Beyond? <laughs> no, no. Don't fucking lie I'm to just, me like that. Well, I just phrased my question wrong, okay? Now you think All I'm right. a slut when really I haven't even gotten any. Yeah. Ever. Sure. Come on. Ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mills. <laughs> thank All you. Right. Right. Bye. Did you masturbate Bye. today? No. Get to it. Hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Bye bye. You need it. You sound okay, like you need bye. it. Let's go. Watch the prenup video. That's what prenup videos yeah. have. To I kind of like her. That's right. You like her? Yeah, I kind of like, like her. Right, keep her in mind. Call her of the night. Jared, you're from the U.S. and you're no longer uh, in the U.S. <laughs> Jared, call back. He was. Uh, he wanted to know if masturbating three times a day is too much. <laughs> uh, Twenty three years old. America. No, actually, no. No, That's pretty it's, normal. I, it's, it's a I little say. high for that age. For the age because that yeah. age should be like, okay, getting a job should be, age. Yeah, should shit. be getting, One. yeah. Three times a day when you're 15, by all means, knock yourself out. <laughs> uh, five times is a little high, okay? Three times a day is a lot mm -hmm. if you're 23. You should be setting up your career. You should be doing that's stuff true. like that. So Doing some other things. Jared, you know? try to call back because that's a very interesting question because there's really no true number you can put on the amount because it's relative to how horny you are and stuff. And as long as it doesn't interfere with his social life, you know, in, yeah. in his professional exactly. career. Exactly. Yeah. Once it starts interfering, not with mm. just not just your social and your mm -hmm. career, but just your lifestyle. Your lifestyle. Like when you're like, oh my God, how many times did I masturbate today? Twice. I'm under quota. You know, <laughs> then, then you're like, then yeah. you're a little Most too of much. the time, that's how you, how you, how you tell if a person's pathological or yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, Dan, you're 18. What's up? Yes. Uh, me problem with you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, every everything kasi na nakikipag sex ako yeah. pag ando na sa peak na orgasm yeah. nautot ako <laughs> yeah well oh my God. you know no I, I, I know that I know that feeling that's when uh, that's when you're on top of the girl right yes. yeah don't so, go on top of the girl when you're nearing orgasm para hindi ka utot 
That's very simple. You know what it is? It's it's the thrust thing. Yeah. Not Sometimes. It is, it yeah, because you, you know, listen, you're arcing it your happens. back. You're arcing your back. You're trying to get a deep penetration in, and because of that, you're kind of squeezing your ass muscles. Yeah. And because of that, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's fine. No, it's fine. It happens. <laughs> Um, and sometimes it happens when you're nervous. Like if you really like if uh-huh. you really like the girl yeah. and she's super hot and stuff like that, it's gonna it's gonna happen. If, um, what you it, need to do, listen, is don't get to the part where you're gonna orgasm and be on top. Cause say you're not you're not flexing that part of your ass. You're not flexing that back where you're utot. Mm. We all know like we're, 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 we're with our friends, right? And we want to fart as loud as we can. We we do that. You know, you kind of you <laughs> stiffen up your back, and so, and you're doing that same f- uh, form when you're having idea. sex, mm-hmm. especially when you're on top, it's, and you're squeezing your tummy. Yeah, so you're doing the vasal. So that when you're about to orgasm, para hindi ka uto, turn around and orgasm from the back. <laughs> mm, <okay>. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> good times, buddy. Good times. Good luck. Good yeah. luck. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> yeah. I Mo's, like him too. Mo sounds like a super expert when it comes to you. Know. Dude, I fucking know the answer to all these questions. <laughs> Mike, Florida, USA. Yeah. What's up? Hey, Mo. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Uh, I'm calling from the United States. Solid. And um, awesome. I don't know if I'm considered uh, normal or abnormal, but I'm a, I'm a white guy and I have this, uh, I guess you'd call it a fetish for Asian women. Yeah, uh, particularly nice. uh, <laughs> uh, Filipinas. Yeah, I, so I wanted to know the... what you people think of that. Over M- there. Mike, here's what I think of it. First of all, I, I, there are two reasons why I think uh, white guys like Asian chicks. Number one is Asian chicks are small. They're petite. they're easily yeah they're petite, petite cute. Um, yeah, they're cute. They're, they they age well. Uh, no, not to take anything away from you Americans. You Americans, you white people are gorgeous <laughs> when you're young. The, the the blonde and the blue eyes, mm-hmm. fucking. They're, they're, they're smoking hot. However, when they get older, they don't age as well. Yeah. Uh, Filipinas, Asians, they got staying power. They, 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 they can look young for <laughs> a long power. time, and that's attractive. Now, Mike, here's number two, and I think this is the bigger, uh, this is the bigger reason why a, lot of white chick, uh, why a lot of white guys like Asian chicks. They don't mouth off as much as the yeah, Western. Yeah, Asian chicks yeah. are more submissive, I'd <laughs> they're, say. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. more traditional wife. So mm-hmm. if you grew up, say, in middle America... Where the wife, you know, stays home, cooks, and has that little traditional lifestyle, you're gonna find that uh, Asian women are attractive to you, because the the modern female, the modern power female of the West, is a debater. I don't want to call her a complainer because that would be wrong, <laughs> but a debater, definitely vocal and stuff like that. And there's some guys who are more country or not really country in terms of the music or anything, but more just kind of traditional. <clears throat> they they want a wife who's more like. Here's the here's dinner on the table. How was your day? Maybe a little. Oh my my husband works so hard. You know that that's a very typical Asian. We call it malambing, malambing. here, uh, yeah. Mike. Um, you know they're they're very very sweet, very sweet thoughtful like that. You know, and I think yeah. that's that's a huge attraction for the Americans and the Europeans who who have seen their women Mm-mm. become more empowered. Which is Power. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's just you prefer a certain style. Mm-hmm. And I, that's yeah. my take I think, on I think it. you hit the nail right on the head. Um, uh, I do like the more traditional kind of uh, female uh, role as opposed to what I guess what you would consider the liberated American woman. Right, which um, is fine. I, I, if I, I, I could also make a comment yeah, please. Um, about an earlier caller. Yeah. Um, there was a woman who called earlier who said that she was attracted more to foreign men, and she was curious to know why that is. Yeah. And I wondered if maybe it was because uh, if she dated uh, a Pinoy, um, she would feel like there would be the more of the potential for that guy to gossip about her and say, oh, she's a real slut and she sleeps around, that sort of thing. Yeah, you know, you bring up a good point because maybe Actually, small country, small society, word gets around, things like that. Um, but I, 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 I noted, Mike, but I still definitely think it's because if a Filipino girl she starts flexing her sexual uh, freedoms and stuff like that around a Filipino guy, they might look at her negatively and she yeah. doesn't want that it's, it's, it's she's more she's more yeah. she's more comfortable with you mm. because you're from the u.s you must you guys you guys are more open more yeah. liberated and, yeah know. i look at your movies and and sex in the city and, and entourage and all of that stuff where you know sex is so 
normal and enjoy it's an enjoying uh, it's an enjoyment and things like that and you give her the thought that you're not from within the family you know, you're not within the Philippines so you can do whatever you, she can do whatever she wants right which goes back to Mike's point right. where less gossip yeah, less people will it. know right. about it right you're, you're noted Mike I think you got mm-hmm. you're on you're onto something there yeah I listen I just found your show uh, today and I think it's great I actually found out about it through uh, listening to, or following Leah Salonga on her Twitter. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's doing she was a great here. job. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. I appreciate it. She was here on Friday. She did an awesome job. We'll have her back definitely. All right, Mike. We'll keep calling, yeah. man. Um, you know, feel free. You have the number and um, yeah, we'll, we'll hear from I you do. more often. All right, buddy. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank no you. worries. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. From Florida, let's go to awesome. Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, nice. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> You're on the show. No. Hello. I mean, I mean, oh God! I don't think they know that they're on the air. <laughs> this is uh, Los Angeles, California. Hello. Da, <laughs> ah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a typical Filipino family in the states. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty early, eight yeah. thirty in the morning in LA. Wow. Okay. So it, it's nice. These past couple of days, we're starting to get more international mm-hmm. listeners yeah, getting cool. on the program. All right, Daniel, you're nineteen. You have a question for Maggie. What's up? Yeah. Uh, questions for Maggie. Yeah. The I watched the prenup video mm-hmm. with Victor, and I saw those. You know what? Hold on back. one second. I don't know what's more popular right now: Hayden Co sex tape or, <laughs> or my <laughs> prenup video. Prenup video. I haven't seen this video. I'm going to look for Sincerely. it. Sincerely. All yeah. right. Question. Go. Yeah, you have three tattoos on your back. What does those mean? Oh, f- not three tattoos on on. That's actually my husband. That's not my back. Oh, well, oh. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have seven tattoos, but none, none on my back. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. I'm going to just gonna shift the question. Uh, okay. Is the, the word on the shoulder, is it yours or your... Oh, that's, your that's my husband's. Um, the oh, tattoo oh, on his okay. shoulder is actually my name. It's oh. an ambigram. When, you, okay. when you're standing behind him, you can read Maggie. And when you're standing in front of him, it says true love. Oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. All, All right. right. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Sorry. No worries. Bye-bye. All right, we have uh, more U.S. calls here. We have Los Angeles back on the show. We also have San Diego. Which one are you going that's with? awesome. Let's go to Los Angeles again. Yes. Hello. I'm from... Hello? Oh, he's Hello? There. Yes, listen to the yes. phone. Don't listen to the computer. All right, what's up? Yes, this is Michael from Saudi Arabia. Oh, you're from oh, Saudi, from Saudi, oh, Saudi is, Arabia. Uh, I grew oh, up there. Oh, sorry. I took, I took, the, yeah, yes. I took the other call. Saudi Arabia, what's up? Yes, oh. uh, this is regarding relationship, right? Yeah, let's go. Be quick. Yes, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my... Uh, what is it, sponsors? Was, uh, <laughs> living in Los Angeles, California for giving me the birthday card. What? I just received it. It, was, it took 10 days. We don't Let's care see. about yeah, birthday. 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 Listen, what happy are you birthday. Talking about? Listen, happy birthday. Let's move on. You have a question. Let's go. Yes. Yes, I would like to ask uh, what is the uh, best measure for uh, fidelity? Best measure for fidelity. Uh, easy. Happiness in your own relationship. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are happy, then you're more happy with each other. You're more uh, less to uh, think that you're going to get it cheated on. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, make sure you have all the elements there. You're still romantic. You have a good sex life. You provide. You communicate. Uh, you have activities. You communicate. You, you set some time outside for, uh, out for each other. There's, right. There are a lot of things that equate to happiness. And that is the best way to battle infidelity. Even if, even if there's a person who's better looking. Like, if I had a girlfriend or a wife who was beautiful and we shared all of these great qualities a relationship has, dude, if Natalie Portman, who I think is the most beautiful woman on the planet, walks in naked, guess what? I'm not going to have sex with her. Kirsten Stewart. Because I'm happy with my relationship. Mm-hmm. It, it trumps everything. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right? Satisfaction. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Where, where in Saudi are you? Yes. I am here at Al Kobari. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. They got some nice. Uh, they got. <laughs> <laughs> trying to invent something. Thanks for the call, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, bye bye. All right, let's get to the next call LA. here. Um, oh, I hung up on the LA. Um, call back, guys. Uh, Gerard, you're 28, Mandaluyong. What's up? Yeah. Go. Hello? Yes, go. Hello. Yes, sir. You're on the show. What's up? Yeah, good. Morning. Hello. Hey, don't listen to the computer. Listen to your phone. 
Okay, I am, I am. Okay. Okay. It, it, you, you, go. Oh, my God. Hello? Hey, asshole. Listen to your phone, not the computer. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Turn off the computer, just so it doesn't... You, you, men, they don't multitask very well. So if you're hearing okay, us okay, in the okay. background, you're hearing us on the phone, you're going to tend to look for the background. Because that's what you've okay, been listening okay. to the whole night. Men, okay, are, okay. men are idiots like that. Are you good now? Yeah, good. Okay, good. okay what's so up? what's your question? Go. Um, I would just like to ask um, Maggie, because I have a girlfriend that we're like together for three years now. Okay. And um, she kind of like want to explore. Explore what? Um, like have a group sex. Yeah. Like nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you in favor of that? Or does Victor or are you ever thought of it? Well, I haven't thought of it. Is I'm it pretty good? I'm pretty happy, you know, just me and Victor, but I mean, if you don't mind, yeah. then I guess that would be something interesting for you two to do. I mean, it's an experience. Okay, Maggie though, you have to know and you please agree with me here. You have to know that the moment you guys have a threesome that your relationship will fail eventually. Uh, I, I mean, like, you're married right now. If Victor says, let's have a threesome, you're going to be like... I'm going to say, fuck no. <laughs> that, exactly. Right? <laughs> because you're in a relationship that you want to keep. Yeah. Exactly. It right? Always haunt you. Gerard, if yeah. you're okay with this relationship going to the shits one day, <laughs> by all means... If you don't have an, any intentions on marrying her... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, exactly. If this, mm. if this is just... Uh, a temporary thing and you know it mm-hmm. then by all means have a threesome I don't care <laughs> Force them. but if you think that this girl is worth keeping down the line no. if this is a relationship yeah, that you want to be in forever then uh, by, I will tell you right now <laughs> it's going to go to hell it'll, call, it'll keep on coming back alright Gerard the just, fact though that it's your girlfriend who, 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 who she, keeps on, she keeps on telling me about it like before we go to bed do you know uh, what listen she, she has this Gerard, do, you guys, do you guys do you guys live men. do you guys live together Oh, wait a minute. Time out. Did you say she wanted another man in the threesome? Wait. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> you know my what? God. Gerard, if, the, if, if, that, if I heard that sentence, I'd dump that bitch I'm sorry. now. Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. She wants I didn't another. Catch that. Not, not, not that we're saying that just because it's a guy makes it less worse, but as a guy, it makes it more yeah. worse. <laughs> I don't and even know if that's grammatically correct, but you get, what I, you get what girl. I'm saying. I'm sorry? And the other night, she wants to do it with another girl. You know what, Gerard? Your girlfriend is bad news. If I were you, <laughs> if I were you, I'll take the threesome and then break up with her, just so you can fucking say that you had a threesome. Yeah. You, yeah. Check it, you check it off your bucket list, and it's gone. Enjoy in the dumper. But this girl is not for you. She's not for anybody. Sure. Yes. Are you living together? Yeah, we are living oh, together. Fuck, and actually, man. we're about to get married. Oh, oh my September. goodness. <laughs> Gerard. Oh. Gerard. She, was, she was so inspired with Maggie and Victor's uh, oh. prenup. Yes, but there wasn't hey. another man or another woman involved <laughs> in was. that bloody there, there video. Was, there was another girl with three tattoos on her back. No, <laughs> Gerard, listen. Get yeah. married abroad because we don't have divorce here. That's right. You're going to get divorced. Do you guys take a nice little trip to Las Vegas, uh-huh. get married, then come home, and then when you get divorced in seven months, at least it's going to be easy. <laughs> because you guys are fucking morons. <laughs> All of you are idiots. Oh, my God, oh man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Gerard, oh, man. Listen, buddy. Again, what? I say this to all our all our callers. I don't know you. You don't know me. We don't care. However, this is going to go to hell, all right? <laughs> if you're going to marry her, do not marry her in our country. We do not allow divorce, and you will get divorced, okay? Okay. And don't okay. be shocked when you come home from work and she's got a, someone else's dick in her mouth. All right? All right. All right. All right. England. Hello. Hello? Listen to the phone, please. Yes, sir. Who's this? Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 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 I I have you calling from England. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, I was, um, I just have a question. Sure. um, uh, For Maggie. Yes. I'm listening. Um, Hello. Yes. yes. Well, no. I'm listening. Go. Yeah. Hi, Maggie. Maggie, I just wanted to ask because you know I haven't been on a date in a while, and I'm actually getting ready to go out tonight. And okay, uh, would you be able to give me some pointers to sort of like, you know, all that nervousness and whatnot, what not to do, what to do? Ooh, that's kind of tough. Well, how about this? You were able to get a date. 
whatever frame of mind you did yep. to get her to say yes, yeah. you continue that when yeah, you're on the continue date. Continue to do it. Because the more you think of, you know, pleasing the date or getting making it, yeah, and, better, and if you're nervous, you tell her. I mean, I've been busy with school and I've, I haven't been on a date for like a few months now. I know, so. I know. What's Actually, your name? Sorry, we didn't get your name. What's your name? Jared. 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 The fact that you got someone to say yes mm-hmm. means you did something right. Means you got game. <laughs> right. I mean, at least you your your foot is in the door. Right. Whatever you use to get that foot in there is what you're going to use mm-hmm. to continue the meeting or whatever you're going to do. Just be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're nervous, tell her. Actually, yeah. some girls find that redeeming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and actually kind of cute. Yeah. Just say, hey, you know, I've been concentrating yeah. in school. This and isn't... um, can I just have an, uh, just another question? <laughs> um, I know you're married and all, but mm-hmm. what what what's your opinion on um, like a First kiss, uh, for, first date, first kiss thing. Oh, I don't mind at all. You wouldn't mind if a guy no. tried kissing you on the first date. Oh, well, hell no! If I really like, you him? turned down a, a first kiss date. Uh, I mean, an attempt at a first kiss on a date. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. And did you continue to go out with him afterwards? No. Okay, so it, when you get that, when you get turned down tonight, uh, Gerard, go look for another one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not very <laughs> yeah, promising. Yeah. Where where are you calling from? I have you calling here from England. I, I don't know if my system is right here. Where are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm calling from London. Perfect, man. I was there last year. Fucking fantastic, beautiful city. Expensive though, so I don't know where yeah, you're gonna take. Yeah, I, I was following you on Twitter. I think you were in Paris. Yeah, I was in Paris something. recently. That's right. I was in Paris quite often actually last year. But I was in London twice, if I'm not mistaken, last year. Just a beautiful, beautiful city, man. Good good job for living there. That's all. That's where he got his monthly bill. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, my hundred twenty. Well, I'm visitors. living here temporarily. Well, thank you for your advice. Thanks. No worries. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Okay. Filipinos, you're getting out called <laughs> by fucking foreigners. It's kind of awesome, though. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Kelly, 24, just down the street <clears throat> in Makati. What's up? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Magin Mo. Hi. Hi. I guess I have a question. Yep. I'm having a sex for two years. <laughs> But it's not daily sex. I've, I've, I've had a sex since I was born, actually. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway, continue. Yes. And every time I have a sex, the round one, I enjoy the, lo- the round one. But the second round, when I said, <laughs> let's get it on, then in the middle, um, it's like natutuyo. Um, of course. Um, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, you're yes. having sex seven rounds a day? No, no. It's only one. Oh, yung parang every day. So, parang... No, it's not every day. I think in a month, it's only once. Okay, so what's the question? Kailan, kailan kayo natutuyo? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only me natutuyo. Okay, ang oh, okay, okay, yeah, babae because... lang naman talaga yeah, natutuyo. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah okay. um, I think on round two. Okay, what, what do you mean? When you say, we're, 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 uh, we're uh, miscommunicating here on when you mean round. Um, when you say round, you mean the position. Halimbawa, doggy style. Oi, change. Reverse cowgirl. That's round two? No. Um, if, uh, um, I think, um, pag tapos na siya in one. Yeah. Then, after none, we're just going to rest. Mm-hmm. Then the, the next thing, mm. again. Mm-hmm. And then. That's, that's what we said. You, you, have yeah. sex, you have sex that many times. Now, <laughs> now when you say seven round, you, so when do you start getting hurt? Round seven? No, it's only um I think it's um in three three rounds. Okay, mm-hmm. well okay. you know what? Fair That's enough. normal. That's yeah. normal because how long does it take for your boyfriend to uh, come? Come. I think fifteen minutes. Okay, so you're starting to get hurt in minute forty five. Um no, I think in. Um, about um, 25 minutes. Yeah, that's that's about right. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, most vaginas can take a good pounding for about, <laughs> I say about 15 to 20 minutes, uh-huh. and then it's going to start to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, um, and I'm telling him, oh, uh, let's go pack up. I don't like it already. F- fuck up oh, yeah. more or pack <laughs> up? Fuck up or pack up. I misunderstood. Okay, yeah. Listen, Kelly. Fuck up. Kelly, you have to tell your boyfriend, you've already come twice. <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me? All right. If you if you still want to have sex, go buy a doll. Yeah. If you still want to have sex, then use some lubrication that so you don't get these these burns and all of these things. But come on, after two rounds, after one round, he should be able to understand already. Three packs of lubrication in Seven Eleven is thirty pesos. Yeah. All right. Mm. And and I know you're saying that you're having sex once a month. Yeah. And, and it's it's seven rounds each time. Why not just spread it out? Yeah, exactly. how, about, how about one round <laughs> no, every or once th- a week? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, one round every three days equates to about once a month. So just have sex every three days. 
Um, um, it's just a casual sex. I don't have a boyfriend or anything. It's just a fling. I know. Fling. It doesn't matter. If you're going to go seven <laughs> rounds, he should be happy Same with thing. one to two rounds. That's good enough. That's good enough, okay? And guess what? You have the vagina, right? <laughs> and because you have the vagina, you're empowered. So you can go. You can do this. You can go. I've had sex with you twice, and he goes. So you know, isapa. No. Do you know why it's no? Because I have the vagina, and I can dictate what's gonna happen with the rest of the night. Yeah. All um, right. After that sex, um, I think my vagina is burning, and <laughs> it can swell. Mama, my guy, you know, it can swell. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Oh, I think your funny. vagina is bigger than your brain. Listen. <laughs> You just tell him, I don't want to have sex with you anymore, and there's nothing he can do about it. That's what's great about having a vagina. You can rule the world. Many have vagina have brought down empires so strong. The Roman Empire, the Egyptian Empire, all brought down all by vaginas. The Arabian Empire, the fucking Genghis Khan, or the Napoleons of the world, all brought down all by, by a vagina. Vaginas. Hitler, everybody went down with a vagina. Okay? okay. All right. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Magellan was not killed by Lapu Lapu. <laughs> he was killed by vagina. <laughs> it's just the way it is. And that goes for all the politicians as well. Yeah, that's right. All right. Mm -hmm. Ewan, you're 31. Paranyake, what's up? Hello. Yes, Ewan. Hi. That's you with the fake name. That's why it took a while for you to respond. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, dude? <laughs> uh, nothing. Hurry up! Nothing. You called. Let's go. We we gotta go. I mean, um, the the question the question that I want to ask is what 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 is the best perfume that I can use in order for my girlfriend to have sex with me? Because every time I'm <laughs> perfume, <laughs> yeah. Because every time every time we're having it, yeah. She would always she would always tell me that I hate your perfume. Okay, what perfume are you using? Happy. Well, no, happy. I love happy Kleenex nice. happy for men. No, no. I wear it. That's why. Okay, That's you why. know what? She, okay, because is there okay. Any other here it is. Clinic happy is a little fruity. It, it's a nice, fresh out of the shower. You smell like a bunch of apples. That 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 that. There's a lot of girls who like that. I but love But if that. she hates that, you can almost assume then she likes the more musky, yeah. the more outdoorsy, uh -huh. uh, yeah. you know, horseback riding smell, or she likes the very classy. Um, expensive, uh, non-fruity smell. Because some of the most expensive perfumes don't have that little hint of, of, of mm -hmm. apples and whatnot. You, if you want to go with the expensive and the classy smell, you can go with a Chanel Allure, which is solid. Um, that'll do good. The, the uh, Gucci, uh, is it Envy? Uh, oh, what, for women? No, no, for men. <clears throat> oh, for men. men. Yeah, is, is also real well, nice. Well, I, I like Lacoste Essentials for men, Clinic Happy, and Aqua Di Gio. Yeah, those are three the, scents the, that the I Lacoste, like. The Lacoste, though, then would satisfy your more masculine yeah. scent. Yeah. While Happy is a little puss. Yeah. It, it's a nice smell. It's a little fag. Though. I wear it. <laughs> right? So, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good smell for chicks. Even mm -hmm. that, that female Happy is excellent as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah. stay away from that because that's not what she likes. It's is too it, feminine. Is it the girl sending him some signals? No, no, it's you no know, because they're having sex. It's not like she's repulsed. She just says, "I don't like the way you smell." Yeah. Change it. So yeah. fine, change it. Get a little bit more masculine smell out there. The Lacoste is, is solid as well. Mm -hmm. All right, but if you want, again, I, I would rather go expensive first. Uh, Gucci Envy, uh, Chanel Allure, all excellent choices. Okay. All right. All right. Bye bye. Good right. luck. Yeah. Good luck. And then you spend all that money. <laughs> 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 Let's try another. Oh, we gotta go. We're way over time. Um, and we gotta find. We go. Oh shit, Maggie, we're super over time. All of a sudden, we got really, really busy Aww. here. Uh, U.S. United States calling. Hello. I swear to God, this is the Los Angeles Hello? call. Yeah, hi. Who's this? Yes, this is Michael, the caller. I was got a while ago. Yeah, Michael from okay. where? From Alcobar. No, we're done with you. You didn't cut off. We hung up on you. <laughs> Joey, you're 19. Quickly, let's go. We, we're running out of time here. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I have a, a question for Dr. Gan. Hello, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, doc, doc uh, how do you prevent, like, uh, premature ejaculation? You don't. You don't. Yeah. You squeeze it, you squeeze it and prevent it from coming out. What did Hayden say? What? You can squeeze the top, the like near the tip, yeah. right where the where the head and the or and pinch shaft yourself. Meet you. You can pinch yourself. You can hold that in, yeah. but that kind of hurts, man. Mm -hmm. You can you can pinch yourself. I always say, look at a look at a photo of your dead Lola. 
So, you know, there are a lot of like ways you can trick your mind. No, you don't. But if you're a pre-ejaculator, you're a pre-ejaculator. Mm-hmm. That's just the way it is. If I were you, I would pull out before you think you're going to ejaculate and, and, and maybe start performing oral sex, start kissing, start doing other things just so you're not so quick to the, to right. the butt. You can masturbate beforehand. You can use a, uh, a condom that mm-hmm. has a, a desensitizing lubricant inside. There are some uh, lubricants you can put already on your penis without a condom that will desensitize, but you don't want that because you might desensitize the female as well. There are a lot of there are a few things you can do, but these are all just kind of delay tactics. Yeah, and the, the, it, these are the ones that, um, yeah, delay the sensitivity. Yeah. But once it's there, you really can't stop it. Now, if you have a loud girlfriend who's really sexual and sexy and all that stuff, <laughs> that's gonna even make your problem worse. Mm-hmm. You can invest in earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> Have sex with shades on, close the lights, whatever it needs Blast to be. Blast the music. Done. Yeah, you listen, put on the 700 yeah. Club while you're on watching it. Mm-hmm. I don't think of something to try to trick your brain, but in the end, the inevitable will happen. It's Biology yeah. will take over. Mm-hmm. You're going to have a premier, premature ejaculation. You can only try to uh, fool it. By, by all of these other things, mm-hmm. okay? I think right, the best way, if you want to beat biology, is the desensitizing cream on the condoms. Okay. Because that actually, like, it's fucking anesthesia. The, condoms, yeah. the condom itself helps because it, it, it prevents the direct contact between two but, tissues. But when you're 19 and you're having sex, you're just going, oh my God, I'm having sex. This <laughs> yeah. is, yeah. you know, it could be with a whale, right? So you have to try to psychologically kind of do something about it. And I would say the dead Lola is awesome. <laughs> All right, works well. She's always been there for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye, Maggie. Uh, caller of the night. We're we're way out of time here. I know. Oh my god, it's so hard to choose. Like you, towards the end. You had one. You said though. Uh, the girl. Which one was she again? The one um, who, like who. Pat. Pat. Do you remember who caller of the night Mills? was? Was it Mills? Yeah. Mills? The yeah, Mills. 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 Can you can you call Mills back? Okay. Right now. Thank you, love. Uh, while we're waiting for that, let's talk to Golda. She's our doctor who called yesterday. Yeah, she's very oh. famous in the chat. Room. Very famous on the famous show. The she she made an impression Hi. because she's pretty. Oh. She's rich. Oh, she's smart, <laughs> and she's not. fucking a married man. Yeah, she's supposed to replace me tonight. <laughs> yeah. Golda, no, why are you calling us? I just want to say hi to you and to everyone who's listening and viewing your podcast. Can you come over tomorrow? Yeah. The boys and I oh, will be sure. here. They'll, they'll molest your ass. <laughs> oh. <All right. laughs> You'll probably get I some dry right. humping going sure. on. Yeah, all right. Well, should, yeah, visit us, all right? It would be nice to yeah, meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank, yeah. thanks, doll. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, here we go. We're going to give away a Lenovo laptop. Also up for grabs is a TGI Fridays uh, gift certificate and Sanmig Light uh, gift items. We're going to get the call of the night on air. <coughs> Excuse me. They will pick one of the three jars. One of them has... The major prize, but all of them are really good prizes. Mm-hmm. Maggie Wilson, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you coming out. I hope you had fun. I did, babe. Thank you. And you are more than welcome to come by. I, I, I give this invitation to everybody who drops by. You can come back. No I'll probably problem. come in to hang out. <laughs> you can hang out or you can just hear, sit here and no worries. Caller of the night. Her name is Mills. She's on the show. Mills, welcome back to the program. Hello. All right. Maggie liked you. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Uh, jars one, two, or three. One has a laptop. One has TGI Fridays. One has SMB Light. Which jar do you want Maggie to open for you? The one with the laptop. No shit. <laughs> Which one is that? What? Which one is it? One, two, one, or, two or three. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm guessing. I want the one with the one. 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 All right. Here we go, Maggie. Open up. Do I do the one. honors? Yes. It, kind of point it to the computer screen there so everybody can see. And uh, go ahead and open up and tell tell us what uh, Mills uh, wants. It's the TGI Fridays. Yeah, TGI Fridays gift certificate. Congratulations. Uh, jar number two had the Lenovo laptop in it. And number three had the SMB light stuff. Congratulations, Mills. Ah, darn it. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. There you go. That was the show for tonight. Gan, thanks for being here. Excellent Thank you. job as always. Maggie Wilson. You can follow her on Twitter with a weird Twitter name. What it's is my that? name backwards. Maggie Wilson backwards. No wonder. Because my name is so fucking common. Yeah. Like everybody's named Maggie Wilson, apparently. Well, you're the first I've met. <laughs> but yes. Great. So Maggie Wilson backwards yeah. is your Twitter account. Anything else? You want a Facebook or whatever? You're, you um, keep that private. Yeah. Fa- Facebook is more private. Um, watch out for my Uno cover in March. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Send That's our it. love to your husband. Nice guy. Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs>
We'll see everybody tomorrow. Boys Night Out of Magic 89.9 will be here. This has been the uh, Good Times with Mo podcast brought to you by San Light, powered by Smart Bro. Night. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was brought to you by San Mig Light. Executively produced by Mohan Gumata. Engineered by Miguel Alfindo. And operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Dr. Gan Montenegro, Larry Carlat, and Magic 89.9. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is a Battle Axe production. Recorded at the Smart Pro Studios in Manila, Philippines. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. Website www.motwister.com. 